the add the item to the basket and click on the combine order button. Remember, standard PMP is £3.95. Charges may differ for outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option for £5.95 on certain items. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Every day, our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects and we feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to sewing or a seasoned pro, you're sure to learn something new. We're live every day from 8am till 1pm and you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Two days ago, Hayley West was on with this gorgeous Husqvarna combi machine. It's called the Jade Combi Machine, right? It does stitching, sewing, and it does embroidery. They did the show, did the show with Stuart, sold out. Got more in, sold out. Then they got more in with extended delivery. I sold all that, sold all those yesterday. We've now got 12 more in. <clears throat> However, they're still on extended delivery. And when we say extended delivery, you'll have them in two weeks. They come directly from Husqvarna. Um, but, 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 but after that, how would you say, Ben? It'll take a few months, a couple of months at least before we can get them in again, right? Now, we've got a picture, haven't we, of the, pri of the present? Yes, you have. You had it yesterday. Why not? Oh, so, so Ben will be able to get it then. Okay, so go to, yeah, go to watch live and get the pitch there. You get a free present. You get a free present of 159, it's that wooden box, those lovely threads in it, right? 159 pounds, that's your free gift after all. That's it, that's it there. That's your free gift there, look. So that's your free gift which is worth £159, right? Um, this machine is incredible. Right, now, have you still got the still picture, Charlie? Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Sewing Street app. Head over to your app store now and search Sewing Street and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favourite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured in today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's bestsellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click the schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking here for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching on the go with Sewing Street. Here at Sewing Street, we only charge one PMP throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the combine order button. Remember, standard PMP is £3.95. Charges may differ for outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option for £5.95 on certain items. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street.
morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. What is it about some people that have to drive this far away from you behind? Oh, it was a nightmare today. I had to come a different, I had to come a different way because of the floods today. And coming down the road uh, past uh, where the old um, Ivy House is, there was a car like this far behind me. And I was going, it was a 50 mile an hour limit. I was going at 50 miles an hour and this car, and then he went, like, well, I'm saying he, I'm saying he, could have been she. And I'm like, what, what is the rush? It's the rush. Um, nightmare, nightmare. Anyway, good morning. Uh, should we do an early bird? Stop moaning. That's my moan out the way for the first 10 minutes. Uh, okay, now, this hasn't been reduced to this price for such a long time. It should be 24 99 That's the price we sell it for, which already is a fantastic price because we also sell another wool pressing mat for £52, right? This one is 100% wool, um, a wool pressing mat, 100% wool, thick fabric can provide effective, safe protections for ironing work and will hold your fabric in place, preventing stretching of your quilting and ironing projects. Guess where we're going? Guess where we're going? Uh, we're going to a price that we haven't been to since last year, £19.99. In fact, wasn't that the price that Ian took it to in Manager Special when he wasn't supposed to? £19.99. £19.99. Everyone's starting to arrive now, you see. Oh, and Barry's here. Bold, beautiful, bold, bashful Barry's here already. £19.99. Right, who's in? Loads of people there. Uh, Carolyn says, good morning. Laurie says, good morning. Pam Minihani says, good morning. Vayen says, good morning. Paula says, good morning. Sue says, good morning. Mari just says, M. Just put M. Derek says, good morning. Wow, loving today's shirt. Thank you very much indeed. It's uh, needle cord. Needle cord, this one is. £19.99. Loads of you there. Loads of you. It's a wool pressing mat. Fantastic. Obviously, this is wrapped. At $19.99, it uh, retains the heat. You can pin into it. It's fantastic uh, for uh, if you're using dry iron and everything. Uh, Claire says, morning, John, looking trim. Thank you. Mari says, you who got hospital appointment days can only watch a while. Have a good day. Heavy rain in Islington. Oh, we don't want to know that. We want to know because re our rain is coming, our water is coming from Wales, apparently. We don't want rain in Wales. Thank you very much. Oh, now, isn't that funny? Because that's two different versions I've heard. Weekend, oh, no, that's right. Weekend dry up. No, no. Weekend, I heard the heavy rain was back at the weekend. It's going to be dry now until... Well, tomorrow. Because I say tomorrow, isn't it? Oh. Oh, Paul's in as well. Baldy Paul's in as well. They'll come in and check in and wave at the window to make sure that they know I'm here. Uh, Margaret says, morning, John and team. Loving the blue shirt. Very slimming. Carol says, good morning. Jan says, morning, gorgeous. Lots of you there. Keep going through for this. Keep going through for 19.99. Right, now, is there an issue with the checkout? Because there's so many baskets, no one's checked out yet. Loads of you got it in your baskets. Message on my bottom. Morning, John. No rain in Caffili. Brilliant, John. Now, that's what I want to hear. Because apparently our rivers are flooded because of the water coming from Wales. That's what I've been told. But the, the water's very high. It's, I, I hate water when it's like, it's frightening, isn't it? At 19, have you seen the snow in Norway? I mean, they always have bad snow in Norway, but it's like, it's over this, it's over like this deep. Nearly, uh, nearly two metres deep. I know. 19, 19, Wendy, morning all. Been up for three hours already, bailing out our cellar. Oh no, Wendy. Deborah says, morning, handsome. Not sure what she's watching. Dee says, good morning, John. Looking fit this morning. Oh, thank you. Uh, now, um, I've got a bit of an echo again, like I had yesterday, just so you know. 1999. That's much better. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, keep going through loads of that now. Come on, come on. What's going on? Message. Uh, good morning, John. Dry and Crosby, and looking forward to some drier weather this weekend from Sue in Mersey side. I'll be up your way. I'll be in Warrington next week. I'm in Warrington next week. No, I'm not doing shoes next week. No, I'm doing the my. I'm doing the uh, John's Got Threads of Life filming next week. Keep going through now, £19 and 99 pence. Nope. Here we go, here we go. You start to check out now. Brilliant, well done. Another message. Morning, John. Happy Friday from Liz. Oh, Liz, you've got ages before you got to be in the office, haven't you? You haven't your cup of tea? Oh, the website's playing up. Shall we check? I don't know. We, can have, oh, you, we, I, we won't show it, but we'll check. 1999. Apparently, the website's just whirring, whirring round when you're trying to check out. Uh, um, Judy Ford says good morning. Judy says good morning. Good morning, ladies. Oh, it's working okay this end, apparently. Refresh your box and you might be all right. 
Right, let's have a look at today's menu. It is New Year, new hobby, uh, dressmaking. That's eight o'clock, nine o'clock. So at nine o'clock, Susie's got two projects. She's going to um, show the folding caddy and talk about the sewing machine cover. Here's the folding caddy. Oh, ow, 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 ow. just walked into a shelf, sorry. Too busy looking at Bruce's lovely pictures. And then we've also got the sewing machine cover. Oh, it's lovely, isn't it? Uh, producer Cat's watching. It's not a day off, she's in today. Uh, then at 10 o'clock, we've got dressmaking fabrics. Then at 11 o'clock, we've got the block keeper with Susie Duncan. Now, this one, in, did you turn it over, Bruce? Yay! This one, in the pattern, there are four different blocks that you can do. And you can choose the two that you want to use from the four. It's lovely, isn't it? Uh, and then we've got overlockers and sewing machines at 12 o'clock. Uh, three ways you can get in touch. First way is by email. Studio at sewingstreet.com. Studio at sewingstreet.com. The second way is Facebook Live, which ones I've been reading out. Fian says there was a warning on MSN yesterday saying all Britain is getting a few days of heavy snow this month. Oh, don't say that, Fian. Uh, and then uh, the other way is by going to the website, www. Towingstreet.com, and what that looks like is this. You press the Watch Live button at the top right-hand corner. Then you'll see the screen, and then at the right-hand side there, you see a little white box. Just write your message in there, and they'll come up on the bottom later. Scroll down the page in a minute. There will be two columns. There were um, show, things that we've shown already, and then coming up on today's show. So this is everything from the first hour. Dressmaking. Ange, morning. Love that shirt. She says, thanks, Ange. Uh, so scissors, tailor's ham, books. Now the mannequins we're going to be doing at 12 o'clock. We're going to be doing the mannequins at 12 o'clock. Uh, pins, patterns, pins, patterns, paper, patterns. There's loads and loads and loads. Remember the mannequins are at 12 o'clock now, not 8 o'clock, 12 o'clock. More books, more mannequins. There we go. Tracing wheel, tracing paper, more patterns. Curved rule, if you're going to uh, do your own patterns. There's Helen and the Annon's book. Loads of patterns, loads of patterns. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh, there's the other wool pressing back. Oh, actually, that shows you. Now, that isn't being crashed. See, now you're going to pay today. You're paying the same price for the big one as you are the small one. Uh, then we go, oh, no. Oh, sold out. Oh, we better tell Susie. The mini quilt stripology is sold out. There's all your different best. Oh, right, that's the best press that's wrong. Look, Ben. It's not 48.99. Not 48.99. So you won't pay, it's 21.90. Uh, well, which one was it? I can't remember if it was the big one or the little one. We've got refills, look. First time ever. Refills, and we've got flavours that we've never had before. Uh, there's the folding caddy. There's another best press, 11.99. See the eleven ninety nine. That's not no. Oh, we haven't got lavender vanilla, have we? Oh, we didn't have that the other day. We only had lavender fields the other day. Oh, okay. Cherry blossom, which is one Stuart was using the other day, said it smelled beautiful. There's the citrus one. Citrus grove. Uh, anyway, there you go. Then here's the dressmaking fabrics. There'll be loads of these. There's bundles and by the half meter. The four metre bundle, half metre. Oh. Got everything. Some of you see, some by the half metre, some are in bundles. Uh, okay, so that's all of those. And then we go to Susie's next hour, eventually. Calico bolt, and we've got calico by the half metre. There we go. Susie's second hour, here you go. All the bits and bobs, and then there's... Oh, now we've got some of Susie's extra patterns in today. There's the block keeper. Has we got it yet? There... No. There it is. There they are. There's the block keeper patterns. Three different colourways. You don't need a magnetic clasp, but we don't know why they're there. 
Then we're on to the air threading overlock cut, 1,199 pounds with three threads. Then we've got the uh, two other overlockers and we've got the Husqvarna. Then we've got threads and we've got mats and all sorts. And that's the day, that's the day, that's the day. So shall we start with dressmaking? New hobby, new you, new start to the year. Where pattern paper. Now you can buy one on its own if you want to. Whose is that jacket with pussycat lining? Oh, it's a scarf. I thought it was a lining in the jacket. Eight, nine, now, now, you can buy, now, do I get money off these two if I buy two? One roll for 8 99 You get 10 metres. Uh, then you can trace through it. You can uh, draw pattern draft on it. It hasn't got any markings on it. It's just a plain white paper. £8.99. OK, right. Or you can buy it by the two if you want the two. Oh, it's the same price. Oh, we're taking three pounds off. Taking three pounds off that price. There you go. Uh, so you get 10 metres. It's really good because you can trace through it. Really good because you can use your tracing wheel on it. But you can also draw patterns on it as well if you're starting from scratch. 14 99 Not got any, it's not got any markings on it. You haven't got your dot and cross. You haven't got any gridding. It's just your plain white. Fourteen ninety nine. Have to move over a little. Oh, you're moving it, or should I move? I've mo I'll move to here. That's right. Right, Joe. Just means I might not be able to reach some of the things. Fourteen ninety nine for two rolls, saving three pounds. Morning, John. Very blurry today. Hope it's fine where you are. Yeah, it was all right this morning. Thanks, Steph. Still wet on the roads. Margaret says morning all. Friday, all you Friday people. John Scott, pack some warm clothes as we're in the minus degrees next week. Oh, no. Uh, Mr. John Bottom. Morning, John and team. Oh, can I have the big telly, please? Uh, morning, John and team. I've just checked out using my free PMP for my Christmas pin badge. Thank you. Have a good day from Joe. Thank you, Joe, my love. What did you get? Did you buy an overlocker? Thank you. Thank you, Cam. Beautiful. Right, I'll put that over there. Ham. Uh, now, this is full of uh, sawdust, uh, so you can steam away to your heart's delight. Uh, when I first saw this, it did concern me that it had a colour. Normally, hams don't have a coloured fabric because you steam them and pummel them so much, you don't want the colour coming out, but these are colour fast. You have got the twill on the other side. £11.99, brilliant for doing darts, brilliant for doing uh, awkward seams, princess seams, things like that, or just little seams. Uh, £11.99. Very handy. Eleven ninety nine. Have it in your pressing station next to your iron. Oh, I've got an iron, have I? No. Eleven ninety nine. The blue or the black one? Oh, we had it yesterday, didn't we? Well done. Keep going through, unless someone's nicked them all for another show. Lovely. Next. Curve drool. If you're going to draft your own patterns. Uh, 9.99. Now, this is fantastic for so many different things. When you first look at it, you think, oh, I don't know how I'm going to use that. You've got straight edges here. You've got buttonhole markings here. You've got all sorts of curves here. So if I just flip it over, you can see you can use it for armholes. It says here knitwear, but not just knitwear. Armholes, pocket bags, uh, increasing waist, hips and crotch, uh, necklines, rounding off points, buttonholes. You can also, because uh, obviously uh, your hip line is never just a straight line, so you can do lovely curved hip lines on there as well, everything. Nine ninety nine, very, very popular. Uh, morning, John. Nice to see you. Bright and breezy, like your shirt. Thank you, Anne, my love. Gorgeous. They did it in red as well. They didn't buy the red one. Yeah, like a dark brick, brick red. Yeah. Nine ninety nine. So, yeah, you get all the bits you need, all your right angles there, all your dotted lines here. Uh, this is seam allowances along here. Uh, just brilliant. And you can use it for so many different things. But only, only if you're going to be doing uh, changing of patterns. You don't need it for anything else. 
Yeah. Yeah, you won't realise you need it till you need it. And then you'll live it if you haven't got it. Gorgeous. OK, so I've got two lots of carbon paper, choice of carbon paper, for you to use with your tracing wheel. So I'll do the chart copy first. So you get blue, green, red, white, yellow in there. And you also now get blue, red, and yellow in that one, and white in that one. This one just used to be uh, blue, orange, and white, that one. But it's two, so it's a choice of two different things. This one's your old-fashioned carbon paper. This is more of a posh, modern carbon paper. Three ninety-nine. but you do get five sheets. You have different colours because if you're tracing them off onto different fabrics, you'll need to see the dots. So there's no point putting blue dots on blue. Like if I was making this shirt, right, I wouldn't use the blue, would I? I'd use the yellow or the white so you could see the dots on it because you need to see the dots to sew the seams and sew the darts. Lovely. Then we've got it in the carbon dressmakers here. Same thing, same thing. Uh, oh, hang on, but how big are those sheets? 289, this one. So hang on, so this one here, you get five sheets at 28 by 23, and this one you get 30 by 25. So these sheets are a oh, smidgen bigger. Buy this one. 289. Again, you get blue, red, yellow, and two white. So you don't get a green in this one. Do you really need the green? See, the char copy was originally, we brought that in originally for Sashko. And you'd mark up your Sashko with a Hera marker. So that's what the char copy was originally used for. And then we started using it for tracing wheels. And now it's just called tracing paper now. 289. It's carbon paper is that in, in the old days when you used to have an invoice book you'd put your blue carbon paper between the two you'd write the receipt for the customer you'd rip that out and you give that one and the one that's left in the book is the copy of the one that you give to the customer and it goes it used to have it when we used to do uh, credit cards with the machine that went dun, 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 like that that had carbon in it as well and then you'd have to take all the five carbon pieces out before you sent it off to access oh, what, what happened to them access and barclay card Access was like another Barclay card. 289. I, I think it must be... What's the other one now? What's the other big credit card now? Barclay card or um, MasterCard. Maybe MasterCard access became MasterCard. £2.89. Lovely. Tracing wheel. Now, the one I've got is more like a torture weapon than this one. Uh, you don't need it to be, but the one, that, one I've got is the same as the one Rebecca's got with really, really big spikes on it. You don't need that at all. So what you do is you trace this through, use this to trace through your pattern with the carbon paper underneath, fabric on the top, and then you trace through your patterns and your darts. So you don't have to do tailor's tacks and things like that. 4 99 Little finger there to keep it stuck, because you want it wobbling around when you're doing your tracing. You just put your finger there. Beautiful. Ooh, I've got stuck. There you go. Also, uh, if you're doing it on the dining room table, make sure you put a cutting mat or something like that underneath because obviously it's going to mark your table, he says, as he marks the table. And there's paint and glitter and everything on this table. Four ninety nine. At 4 99 Make sure you get your chalk copy paper or your carbon paper to go with. Or you could just buy it as a little, you know. Angela, morning, John and team. Thought I'd pop on and say hi before my granddaughter arrives and my telly gets taken over by Pokemon or Minecraft. Don't know what either of those. It must be games. Well, I've heard of Pokemon. Didn't know it was on the telly. I thought you got Pokemon cards, don't you? Four ninety nine. Right, moving on. Books now. Which one would you like to do? 
Hello, Nearly Our Nuns first. We've sold thousands of these. It's a really, really good book. I bought one of these for my friend Michelle. Uh, anyway, 1999, it contains full scale, scale patterns, but it goes up to huge, uh, lovely measurements in this one, curvaceous measurements in this one. Uh, here we are. Uh, oh, now where is it? So basically in here, it's all about neckline, sleeves, skirts, and different additions, how to adjust your patterns and things like that. Choosing your sewing machine, threads, all your information before you start. Then, where are we? All different, different fabrics, draped, look lovely. Uh, grading of patterns. So there's lots and lots and lots of information here. How to get measuring yourself, where you measure. Right, so she goes from a size 1 to a size 19. So a size 1 is a 31 and an eighth bust, 24 waist, eight, uh, 34 and a quarter hip. Size tw 19 is 74 and three eighths bust, 67 and three eighths waist, and 77 and a half hip. So it covers every eventuality. Oh, here you go, here you go. Right, look, how to chase off a pattern accurately. So there's your, look, she's got the dot and cross paper. We had our plain paper. There's her curve. There's her curved ruler, look. And then I, don't, I wonder if she uses a tracing wheel at all. Oh, she doesn't seem to use a tracing wheel. No. There you go. And she's using a rotary cutter. I've never used a rotary cutter making got gorgeous scissors coming up in a minute. Anyway, look, calico, all the calico to make your twirls. Calico later on in the uh, 10 o'clock hour. Mannequins at 12 o'clock. There you go, choosing your sleeve heads there. The sleeve heads do cause a little bit of problems, I have to say. Even when I first started, it was different. Full bust adjustment there. To add to your cup size, adapting a pattern there. V neckline, boat neckline. There's so much. And then you've got dressmaking patterns at the end. Fabulous book uh, at only 19 99 well, it took years because well, she had a baby and then she had COVID, not she had COVID, COVID came. So that's why it took even longer. But the research that's gone into it is phenomenally. 1999. 1999. Keep going through. Beautiful. What are you doing? What are you doing, Kat, over there? He's doing it so I haven't got to bring a chair over. Okay, thank you. I wasn't saying not, not to do that. I was just saying, were well, you not listening to what Ben was saying? I was, re <laughs> I was reacting to what Ben was saying. You were like, in your own world, moving chairs around. Oh, which one? Elisa Select's book. What? Yeah. Now, this one doesn't have patterns in because you draw your own patterns from this one. So it's quite similar in the way she teaches you how to measure yourself and everything like that at the beginning and how to draft a pattern and a waistband and a zip and a dart and a facing and everything like that. I wonder if she's had her baby yet. Do you know she had a baby? How pregnant do you think she was? She was quite pregnant. Oh, no, she will have done because both she and Sof Sophie had her baby. Weren't they both eight months or something? Sophie was the cross-stitch lady on the same day or the same week and I had two pregnant ladies in. Anyway, they, but this shows you there's, there's different patterns, how to draft a pattern, but look, the projects are like this, right? So you start off with your wedding dress, guest dress, right? Then it tells you from your measurements how you draw your own pattern. And then the same with the classic sheath skirt. From your measurements... You draw the pattern, look. Uh, and then uh, the part, prairie dress, that's what she was wearing on the day, wasn't it, Elisa Lex? was wearing that in green on the day. How to draft the pattern. Then you've got your faux cute jumpsuit. It's in two pieces, that. Two pieces. So you could just make the trousers, yeah, if you wanted to. Then you've got the sweet, sheared top and dress. So there's lots that you can do in that. This was very, very popular the day we launched it. At £21.99. How many patterns has it got in it? Or how many ideas has it got? 16. 
16 different uh, inspirational patterns. Good book to have in your, in your kit. If you want to draw up your own patterns. It, it, and I'm not, I'm not taking away from drawing up patterns, but she's made it very, very simple. T pattern drafting is one of the most difficult things I had to learn, right? And once you've got the hang of it, you know how to do it, but it took, it's mathematical. This way, it's not so mathematical because you're using your own measurements. So for pleasure, not as a chore, Ben says. 21.99. Yeah. Yeah, I've got three more books. Oh, and a broken ruler. They're very durable, though, aren't they, cats? Well, which one do you want now? Let's do Lotta Jun Dotta. Right, now. Um, uh, Alison Marion, Marion Alison, Granny Alison, as she's called now. She loves this book. She's got the first one because she had everyday style. She loved the first one. Then she got this one. It's easy to sew pieces to mix and match in your wardrobe. It's really, it's a beautiful book. If you love Scandinavian styly things. So here's the garments. Uh, boys and girls can wear them. And then how you um, make them, what, and how your fabric choice makes them look different, how you can adapt them. This is the Rui skirt and shirt dress. Shirt, sorry, shirt and shirt dress. There you go, you see? Uh, unisex. We don't call that anymore. Gender friendly, gender friendly. Ma dress, I love this one. Imagine that, being standing on the edge of a fjord. Not today, because there'll be heavy snow there today, I imagine. But look how the fabrics make it look different. Look, and they can do block, block colours as well. They're all ever so happy, aren't they? Where they say it's the, the, the best place to live, don't they? Pin pants, Kiko jacket and robe. See, gender friendly. They're going for a skinny dip there. Then you've got the Ricky skirt. There's loads in here. It's a really, really lovely book. And then how to make them is all at the back. Oh, sorry, I'll pull that shot. There you go. It's all about your capsule wardrobe. And all the patterns are in here. But what they do, it's really, really clever. Because you know the patterns that all overlap each other. Sometimes you think, oh, I can't find anything. So for the Billy Top Tunic, you need sheet one. And you, that's all you need, sheet one. and all. Oh, no, one and three. All your pieces are on there. Oh, because they've just gone over onto three there. So, so the Kiko jacket and robe, you just need sheets two and four. So it shows you the pin pants are on sheet one and two. The Ricky skirt is on three and four. So you, it shows you where all the pieces are. So you're not searching or you don't miss out on any of them. 19.99. Lovely. Now this... It's not for a beginner. This is not for a beginner, this one. It's a lovely book, and it's got beautiful shapes in it, but I would say it's not for a beginner. I'm just telling you, because I always get it home and then feel uh, overwhelmed by it. But look at all these, right? Well, the garments aren't more complex. It's just the way that they, they lay it out and tell you how to cut them out, look, you see. So they presume that you know about construction before you start it. So like a beginner would look at that and go, because it just says, sew the body. Then it says, sew the lining. You see what I mean? Sew the body and the top together. Beautiful. $16.99. I mean, they're beautiful shapes. I love the shapes. I mean, they're for every body shape, aren't they? Oh, now I need to look at the sizing in this one, actually. Yeah, uh, 48. Oh. oh, here you go. Each one, I see what it is. Each pattern has the finished sizes in it. So there's, in this one, there's two sizes, small to medium and large to extra large. And they're the finished sizes of the garment, not the size that you are. And it says here... Due to the oversized design of this blouse, we recommend sizing down because it's oversized. Because a small medium has got a 56 bust. And, uh, well, the length's different there. But you see what I mean? Let's go to another one. I'll show you on another one. So here you go. The wide leg pant, they do a small, medium, large and extra large. 
So it's got the waist finished garment sizes, not your measurement, the finished garment sizes. How much you need, where the, the pattern pieces are, what sheets are on, and how many pieces you need. Then the construction, let's like say, make the pockets, as shown in step one on page 78. So look, they're presuming that you know how to sew. Oh, no, no, it's brilliant. If you love those timeless, shapeless pieces, then this is perfect. $16.99. Telly in the buttons now. This is stretch. We've got some stretch fabric. Oh, hang on. Is it stretch? It's called Love at First Stitch. She's normally stretch. Hang on. No, no, this is not the stretch one. This is um, all different fabrics in this one. So the Margot pyjamas, for instance, there. $24.99. Lovely, isn't it? Gorgeous. From the Great British Sewing Bee. I'm not sure if she won. Did she win? Or she came quite high up, I think. I never watched it back then. In fact, I don't watch it anymore now. Beautiful. Twenty four ninety nine. Oh, look, the Delphine skirt there. That's cute, isn't it? Gorgeous. It's very um, beautiful, lovely kind of... Is that the right word? I don't think coy is the right word. That doesn't help at all, Ben. Beautiful, anyway. There you go. It's uh, $24.99. Patterns at the back. Patterns at the back. Beautiful. Next. Scissors. Now, these are brilliant, right? These are absolutely brilliant. Not, not maybe for a beginner, because these are when you know that you want to get into your dressmaking, right? I've got them in 10 inch and I've got them in 12 inch. They're in the same size box. Now, your box could be that one or that one because they just changed the packaging halfway through the season. So if they're the same scissors in the box. So which one am I doing first? 12 inch first, right? OK. So these, I would only say buy these. And I'm being totally honest. I'm not trying to put you off. But if you are really, really, really decided, yes, I'm completely dedicated to dressmaking or patchworking now, and you want to invest yourself in some pair of scissors, a really, really good pair of scissors. I know £60 sounds an awful lot for a pair of scissors, but they are phenomenal. Uh, uh, morning, John. I haven't done much dressmaking in recent years, but want to get back into it. Hillary, do so. Do it. Uh, but anyway, so these scissors now, compared to the modern day scissors you buy, these are going to feel quite heavy. But believe me, the balance of them works perfectly. I've got something here. Ben was just bringing me some fabric out, but I've got some fabric here, thanks. Um, these are uh, really, really gorgeous because the balance on them, look, is perfect. You've got the weight of the handle and you've got the weight of the blade. Now, these are iron. They're, they're, they're solid, right? But they're beautifully manufactured and shaped and cast so that your fingers fit beautifully in there. And there's plenty of room for your thumbs. So if you're doing a lot of cutting, you don't have to worry about it. Um, also, look at the angle here. It's like a really, really long, straight line. To it. So, so you're not lifting them to cut. So if you get your fabric... And then literally, when you slice through the fabric... They're like... It sounds like uh, footsteps in snow, in fresh snow. That's what it sounds like. Um, but they cut... you Now, the reason you want great big blades is you're doing fewer cuts. Because imagine if you had the smaller scissors. In what I've just done three cuts in, you'd have to do about six cuts in that. So you get less jaggedy edges. You get really, really neat. And on fraying fabrics, it slides through, it slices through it. So it doesn't... It, it's not going to fray as much. It will eventually when you start working with it. When you're cutting out, you're not going to worry about fraying. Um, again, they've got the 10-inch. Now, you must keep... 
them in the box. Don't throw the box away. Always keep them in the box. Clean them after every cut, after every session of cutting. And uh, every now and then give them a bit of a lubricate. Uh, now, I know £60 lots of money and you're thinking, oh, I can't justify that. Imagine how... I've got my version of these, my Wilkinson sword that I bought in 1981, and I still use them to this day. And all those years working in theatre, all those costumes they cut out, everything I made in my whole life, uh, in the theatre and in telly and everything like that, I used those scissors. They came over with me, and I've still got them now. I still have them now. Uh, and they work just well. I have, I've had them sharpened a few times over the years. I get, my, you know, the old-fashioned man on an upside-down bike... No, hang on, I've got that wrong. He's not an old-fashioned man. The man on the bike who sharpens them in the old-fashioned way, he comes around the villages and does the, the, the blades and everything and the knives and things. It's not, it's not a scissor sharpener, he's a knife sharpener. And what he does, he comes around on his bike, right, doing in his bell, and you go out and you go, oh, I need these sharpened. And he turns the bike upside down, or something happens, and he pedals, which makes the wheel go round, and he sharpens your blade or your knife... Like that, as he's, as he's um, peddling. 59.99. We also have the old rag and bone man coming around with a big trumpet. Yeah, yeah, but he takes, other, he takes more than just scrap iron. Yeah. We don't have the, um, the man when, the man used to come around with the fizzy drinks when I was little. We don't have that anymore. The fizzy drink man used to come around on a Friday. Fifty nine ninety nine. They were really, really, really good by that. Now, they're the 10 inch ones, right? I'm saying only buy those if you really, really, really are serious about your. And these as well. But if you want a pair that with the same quality and the same everything, but you want them more manageable, then these are the ones you want. Now, they still come in the 10 inch box, but keep the. Now, they're 50. 12 inch box, sorry, because these are the 10 inch. The 12 inch box, these are the 10 inch. Um, these are far more manageable. First of all, this is a gloss finish, a smoother finish here. Still plenty of room for your fingers and your thumb and everything like that. Still metal handle. Yeah. Still metal handle. It's exactly the same, but you've just got a shorter blade, a 10 inch blade on this one. Uh, well, a 10 inch scissor. 54 99 the quality is incredible, absolutely incredible. And I mean, I know it's too late for Christmas presents now, but I was saying to some people, if your partner does sewing or, or any kind of sewing, they're going to love these. And you think, you know, 54 99 a bunch of flowers, a box of chocolates, that's going to take you almost to that price. If you buy those um, truffles with sh champagne in there, 20-something pounds, aren't they? Big bunch of flowers from one of the supermarkets is 30 pounds. Just me, and they're going to be... And, uh, yeah. And then we, um, we then, um, they're gone within the end of the week, aren't they? These are going to last a lifetime. And again, the cutting on these is beautiful. Yeah. Well, yeah, exactly. So, so if, if you're thinking, oh, I couldn't, I couldn't justify spending £54, put them on your wish list, put them on your present list. But look, just amazing quality. I'm really loving it. And they're, they're still sturdy, but they're not as heavy, obviously, as the 12-inch one. 54 nine ten. What you have to do, yeah, what you have to do is make sure you keep them away from everyone else. But to a, a, a person who doesn't say, they'll think, oh, a pair of scissors, £55. Rubbish. But when you know and you know you love them and you know that they're going to do the job for you and everything, they're not going to let you down, but you keep them hidden. Don't let anyone else in the family. Imagine coming down and finding one of your kids cutting paper with it or something like that. Fifty four ninety nine. Oh no, buy cheap, buy twice, you see. Whereas these are going to last you and last you and last you. I think they come with a guarantee, actually. Not from us, but from Mundial. Uh, let me read this. Mundial's... Forged that it's tempered with nickel-plated for a lifetime of sewing satisfaction. Um, now, I thought... I thought they had to get. Oh, hang on, here we go. I thought they had to guarantee on them. Hang on. Well, they haven't got it in English on that side. Oh, I might be wrong there then. Anyway, uh, the, you're not going to need it because they're going to be perfect. Fifty-four ninety-nine. Gorgeous. 
Patterns. Oh, don't lose that. Patterns. Where would you like to go first? Closet core. LED. Yeah, there it is. Now, what date do we make this on, please? 22nd of March last year. We've done it since then, but that was the first time we did it. Web image there. The thing is, that, that, that's such a rubbish picture. Because you want to... No, no, no. Because, I mean, it's a nice picture, but you want to see the dress. There's a front version of the shorter version. Nice summer dress, that, in the linen. We've got some nice linens coming up later. There we go. That's more likely. You want to see the actual dress, don't you? Uh, morning, John. We used to have a chap come around our village in a van where we could choose things like carpets. He also sold paraffin along with Mars bars. Only thing is the chocolate tastes like paraffin. Oh, yeah, I remember a van like that. I loved it when they opened the back door of the van, though, and all the smells came out. 19.99. this one, the LOD wrap dress. Now it goes from a size... Oh, now, this is American, so it goes from 0 to 20, which means it really goes from 4... 4 is a 0. It's 4 different, yeah. 4, four to a 24. Lovely. Next. Next. So House 7. Yeah, I've got a couple of theirs. Regalia blouse. Oh, oh, right, OK, now it must come in two sizes, yeah. So it comes 0 to 20. Remember, again, these are American sizes. 0 to 20. Oh, OK, 16 to 34 first. 16 to 34. Uh, curvy sizes. American size. Remember, that's a 20 to 38. Is there a choice? Oh, yeah, there you go. Uh, long sleeves and your short sleeves there. I have to say, I'm going to be very, very honest now, and I maybe shouldn't do this, but if you've got a fuller bust, this isn't going to suit you. Only because, look, look where the gathering is on the blouse, right? It's going to cause a shelf. Look, I'm just seeing it on this one here, and it creates a kind of like, un it looks like something you put under an armour of a medieval soldier. So I'm only being totally and utterly honest with you. If you've got a large bust, might not, it might not um, work for you. There we go. And then we've also got it in the sizes 0 to 20. Regalia. No, no, you see, she's not got such a big a boob area. And it looks, it does look, I mean, I'm not trying to put you off. I'm just saying that I don't want you to, if you are uh, uh, conscious of how full you are in the bosom area, this maybe isn't the blouse for you. And I shouldn't really say that because I'm a salesman, but I'm just being honest with you. Because I would hate for you to buy it, make it, and then go, oh, and then never wear it. Do you know what I mean? So that one there's Soho 7. Then, who am I going to next? So, girl... So this is the uh, OB belted, uh, you don't have to put the belt on it, look. From So Girl, Fiona Hesford. These sell by the hundred normally. 2nd of August, last year. Yeah, 23. Now we did it twice. Fiona Hesford came in to do it. On the 9th of December. No, she did the first one. Yeah, 21st of September. Then we did it again. So she did the belt, and then I think Rebecca Harrison came in and showed you how to do the neck and the rest of it. 17.99, sizes uh, small to 2XL, suitable for beginners. Now, what's brilliant about So Girl is she has her own blog. So you can go to her blog completely for free, and it tells you all about the hacks. It shows you how, the difficult, how to do so, the difficult parts. Shows it in different fabrics, shows all the different hacks you can do to it and everything like that. Sometimes she even has a free different sleeve or things like that. So that's $17.99, but it's really worth going to see the So Girl blog site. Uh, Cousin Susan says, good morning. Carmela says, totally agree with you about the blouse. Before I lost weight, I was a GG cup 
and that style of blouse would never flattered my shape at all. Thank you, Carmela. I'm just like to be, Carmela, I'd just like to be honest. Just like to be honest with you, that's all. Right, so that's your Valerie shift dress there. Suit all ages, all shapes, that one. Then another So Girl one here. The Tallulah. Oh, I haven't, I haven't, got, a, I haven't got a Sicily. Oh, it's been put in the wrong pile. There it is. Yeah, Tallulah. This has been very, very popular today. Sizes 6 to 22, intermediate. I wonder what makes it intermediate. I only have been on air once. Sold absolutely hundreds of them. Uh, morning. Off later to try and dresses for our golden wedding anniversary in April. That I saw you. I got your invite. Thanks, Crazy Lorraine. Beautiful. Now, has it got a zip in it? Oh, yeah, it's got a zip all the way down the back, that one. Lovely. 18th of May, that one, last year. 18th of May. Now, this is one of uh, Fiona's most popular ever dresses, the Cecily dress. You can do it with a three-quarter length sleeve or a short sleeve. Seventeen ninety nine flattering. What she goes for, she goes for comfort and flattering. And her story is fantastic. When, when the John Scott Threads of Life platform launches, right, uh, but the interview with Fiona is so interesting because uh, I've already done, like, lots and lots of hours of pre-recording. That's what I'm doing again next week. And the, the hour with Fiona is just brilliant, even though I say so myself. And I was freezing cold. It was a really, really cold day. Uh, Sue, we love you for your honesty, John. Don't ever change. Thank you, Sue. Uh, the other Jan says, good morning, John, everyone. Thank goodness the rain has stopped. Yeah, but Jan... Has it? Because didn't someone message you earlier saying it was raining in, not Caffilly, it's dry in Caffilly. Islington. Well, it's Islington, I think. Lynn Tewitt. Morning, John. I do love your honesty regarding styles and sizes. That's what makes Sewing Street specially different from the other channels. Thank you. My pleasure. But the thing is, right, if you buy something, you get home, you're going to go, oh, don't believe that, John Scott. What's the point? What is the point? If I love something, and you know, like, I love this. The Cecily dress, I think, is brilliant. Well, I have to say, oh, I love all of Fiona Hesford's. But do you know what I mean? This will suit you. I'll tell you who it will suit you and everything like that. If I didn't think it would suit you, it's like if people, if I go shopping with friends and they put a dress on, they go, does this suit me? I go, no. It's like that old phrase, does my bum look big in this? Yes, it does. You've got to tell somebody. You can't then go, oh, no, I think it looks lovely. Because it doesn't, you know what I mean? You have to be, you do it, you don't go so bluntly like that. If I had one of my clients out when I was, because I used to do a lot of personal shopping with people. And, um, oh no, and it's really funny because the amount of people, you'd meet them in the morning for coffee and they go, right, I don't wear blue and I don't wear chiffon. By the end of the day, I'll have them wearing blue and chiffon because they'll realise that it's something they've tried on in the past that hasn't suited them. But um, no, no, no. So I, I'll be totally and utterly honest. If something doesn't work, I'll tell you. But if something looks amazing, I'll tell you. Uh, yeah, could you afford me, though? Yeah. Seventeen ninety-nine. Lovely. Beautiful. Right, what's next, then? Sussex Seamstress or Sew Me Something? Sussex Seamstress. This is another lady who's had a fascinating life as well. This is Jane, who watches, uh, and I've, done, I've interviewed her in her she shed as well. And it was a horrible day, really rainy, horrible day. Uh, but, oh, which one are you doing first? Horsham first. £15.50. goes from size 8 to 20. Beautiful. Very simple, very stylish, very elegant. And it's Horsham because it's all placed in Sussex. £15.50, this one. Uh, uh, what date was this one, sorry? Twenty twenty one was the first time we did this one. Twenty ninth of did you say twenty ninth? Twenty ninth of May. Beautiful. Then we also have the Celsi top. Now we've made this one quite a few times. Uh, Rebecca Harrison's made this one a few times for us as well. £15.50, the Celsi seamstress, uh, Sussex seamstress Celsi top. £15.50. Oh. 
10th of April 2021, <coughs> excuse me, was when it was launched. But it, as long as you don't mind showing your arms, it's a really cover all top, this one. Fantastic going out to eat and you don't want your TC people, you know, you're bloating or you're swelling afterwards. That, the fabric makes it look very 1960s on that one. But if you did it in William Morris, that looked very, very, or Liberty looked very elegant. We've got dressmaking fabrics coming up at 10 o'clock, remember? Lovely. Then let's do some sewing me some things. Ooh. This is Jules Fallon. Now, I've got Rosalind, Imogen, <coughs> and Re Reagan. Oh, excuse me. <coughs> Rosalind, Imogen, and Reagan. All of her original patterns were all named after Shakespeare characters, ladies. Now she's moved on to... Uh, Inspirational women, because I think she's run out of women from Shakespeare's patterns. So Rosalind is a pair of pyjamas, uh, lounging pyjamas. <coughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me, I've got very froggy, haven't I? I the weird, I just took a drink of my tea as well. It's because you can't buy fresh ginger anywhere. Tesco's, Waitrose, Marks and Spencer's, nobody's got any. Oh, I couldn't find any, right? And Stuart said it's because it's January. Everybody doing a detox, buying the ginger. <coughs> anyway, for two, three days running now, I've been to all the, three of those shops, couldn't get it. £24, you get the pyjama top and the pyjama trousers. Oh, trousers. £24. My, my freezer is full of frozen ginger, just doesn't work when you add it to hot water. So that's that one. Beautiful patterns. These are really, really good quality. Then I've got the Imogen. Now I've got the Imogen in the two sizes. I've got 6 to 20 and 20 to 34. 6 to 20 there. Confident sewer. Two pairs of scissors. Stratford will be trapped from Haven. Yeah. Well, it doesn't look like that at the moment. I tell you, the water would be up here now. Yeah, she's based in Stratford Haven, Jules. Beautiful. Then I've also got it in a 20 to 34. Shall would be totally flooded, I imagine, at the moment, isn't it? 20 to 34 there. Why, which school did you go to? Stratford College. Where's that? Oh, yeah, yeah, it's, it's, all, it, it's all shut, isn't it, now? Well, the, the great big building, as you come down the left-hand side, is all up for sale. There's a, there's a school there, but before the school, there's all, this, all these empty buildings. Yeah, 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 because it make lovely flats. It's not, it's just still up for sale. Well, you see, the trouble is they've just built all those luxury apartments on the other side of the road, Arden, Arden Court, or whatever it's called, and one of them, I noticed, because I had to take a shortcut through there, one of them, you'd literally come out of your front door and cross the road and you're in the station. So it's good if you're a commuter, I suppose. Right, OK. And then last but not least, the Reagan from um, King Lear. £24. This is the Reagan sweatshirt. Long-sleeved or short-sleeved. Yeah, long sleeve for the winter. Beautiful. Right. Go for a break now. After break, Susie's coming up. We are doing a uh, sewing machine cover and a foldy matty thing. What, what was it called? I can't remember now. Anyway, I'll see you in four minutes. Caddy, caddy. <laughs> Did you know that we can deliver to over 20 different countries worldwide, spanning four continents from the UK to Australia? Check out our website for the list of countries and delivery costs. Sewing Street, stitching the world together. Every day, our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects and we feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to sewing or a seasoned pro, you're sure to learn something new. We're live every day from 8am till 1pm 
And you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Did you know at Sewing Street that on various products we offer split pay? That means on certain items you can spread the cost over two, three, four or sometimes even five interest-free monthly payments. Just pay the first instalment when you purchase and you're away. So shop your way with split pay. Shopping with Sewing Street couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.sewingstreet.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your sewing room essentials to fabrics, sewing machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Sewing Street app. Simply head over to your app store and search Sewing Street. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Here at Sewing Street, we only charge one P&P throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard P&P is £3.95. Charges may differ for outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option for £5.95 on certain items. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Are you having trouble finding the ideal gift for that someone special? Then why not treat them to a Sewing Street gift card? Simply head over to the website and scroll down to the bottom of the page and click where it says gift cards. You can decide between posting the card or delivery by email, then decide the value that you would like to send. Whether it's for a birthday, a special occasion, or just a way to say thank you, the Sewing Street gift card is the perfect answer. Did you know that we can deliver to over 20 different countries worldwide, spanning four continents from the UK to Australia? Check out our website for the list of countries and delivery costs. Sewing Street, stitching the world together. Shopping with Sewing Street couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.sewingstreet.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your sewing room essentials to fabrics, sewing machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Sewing Street app. Simply head over to your app store and search Sewing Street. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Did you know at Sewing Street that on various products we offer split pay? That means on certain items you can spread the cost over two, three, four or sometimes even five interest-free monthly payments. Just pay the first instalment when you purchase and you're away. So shop your way with split pay. Uh, Sue Patterson says, uh, Amazon Fresh is showing fresh ginger in stock, as are Morrison's. I uh, do I go part? Is Morrison's the one by the college, did you say? So that's a bit out of my way, that one. Sainsbury's had loads of it yesterday. Oh, did they? And how weird. So Waitrose, Tesco's and Mark Spencer's, none. For three days now. Oh. Oh, no, we've had loads. There's a Morrison's next I've got to loads building. in my fridge. I could have brought you some. Oh. Um, next to this building? Oh, the one where Starbucks is? Oh, I'm not going all the way down there. That's the opposite way to my house, though. But 
said it's five minutes. I don't care. Right, I've got my spice ginger tea bags, which are suited me fine. Have a look at this, right? This gorgeous little caddy. Uh, Susie's... Oh, sorry, I haven't introduced Susie. Susie's here today, everyone. Hello, happy new year, everybody. There you go. Right, she's done that. Now, here's a caddy <laughs> that Susie designed. Uh, is it cute, right? And I just said to Susie, what would I use it for? She said, well, look, this is what I've used mine for. I've got this colourway today. I haven't got this colourway, but this is Susie's own. Look, she's got little rulers in there. Uh, the other one, uh, she had a little iPad in there and everything like that. It's just something to keep. It's part of your storage bag collection, isn't it? It is, yeah. yes. This family of storage bags and everything. I've got, do you know what? This is one of my favourite cave fabrics. It is mine. And it? I've got three pieces of that in my stash cupboard. And all I've cut out of it is when Nonna needed a mask. Yes. Um, when her carers were coming to look after her, I made her one out of that. She was, oh. the only, she was the only person who got it. And when she passed away, the family all fought over the, that mask. <laughs> anyway, I'll give you that back. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you. Right, so pattern on its own for the folding caddy is here. Which? Oh, yes. Oh, gosh, yes, I hate that. Um, I'll, I'll move it in a second. Cat can move it. Uh, pattern instructions. The graphics, Ben, that's you. Oh, no. What's happened? Graphics have crashed again. Oh, Graphics have crashed, I'm afraid. Right, what we'll do is we'll just start doing the demo. We'll start doing the demo while they sort out the graphics. There won't be any graphics in or anything at the moment. Oh, actually, is it just the graphics or can they buy on the web? Can they buy normally? Right, okay, so what we'll do is we'll do it how we did it the other day, right? So this is the pattern on its own. I show it like this and like this and like this, and then you show and then you show the front page of the website where this is at the moment, and it shows you the price. There you go. Nine ninety nine, nine pounds and ninety nine pence. Uh, nine ninety nine for those patterns. Beautiful. Oh, yeah, you still buy like normal. This is just what happened the other day. It was off for two hours the other day. Yeah, well, we had to get Ben in, and then he had to get somebody else in, then he had somebody called, got somebody called Dev in. Oh, it was all going on. Then Chloe came in, and oh, it was a nightmare. Okay, so that's the pattern on its own. Right, now I've got three bundles. I've got the bundle that, that one was made of that you just saw there. Yep, and what you get in the bundle is you get the instructions, you get your H640, and then you get, is that all I need? Three fat quarters. Mm. Three fat quarters of fabric there. Graphics not working, but you can still buy, you can still buy on the web, <coughs> you can still buy on the phone. It's only the graphics RN that aren't working. Just waiting for it to upload onto the computer. How much is it, Ben? Twenty-four ninety-nine. Twenty-four Can we show the front? Of, can you? Are you able to show the front of the thing? Yeah, there you go. Twenty-four ninety-nine. So this is the Moda and Morris Navy Folding Caddy Kit. Instructions, fat quarters, and H six forty. Yeah, a lot of H six forty in there. Meter. You do. Let me just check. You do get a meter. Not sure why you need so much. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look, 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 look. Strength. It's a metre, you're 8640, so <coughs> lots of that left over. You only need half a metre. You only need half a metre of that one. In fact, you don't even really need half a metre. <gasps> don't really need half a metre. You can hear her in the background. Sorry, I'll shut up. Muttering away. Uh, anyway, 24 99 24.99. So that's the one that's already made. That's this one. Actually, I suppose you could swap the fabric round to wherever you wanted them, couldn't you? You've got the same Absolutely. amount of each one. Yeah, you can choose which fabric goes where. That's lovely, isn't it? In fact, they're all gorgeous, though. Yeah, it was a hard decision because yeah. I like them all. OK, so that's that one. We've also got it in <coughs> the pink. Which one are you making? I'm doing the Liberty. Liberty. Let's do Liberty next, then. So, again, yeah. you've, yep, you've got the instructions. Just check in. <laughs> the instructions. No, I could... I, I, no, what threw me is you've got your own tool caddy in front oh, of it. Oh, yeah, sorry. And I was like, I haven't got that pink one. Yeah, sorry. Uh, so you get Liberty, 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 H640 and instructions. 24.99, there it is. <coughs> <coughs> Mine's 
Morning, Susie, says Sue. Happy New Year. Morning, Sue. Happy New Year as well. Twenty-four ninety-nine for that one. Lovely. And then the last one is the pink one. This is pretty. This is really pretty, the pink one as well. It is very pretty, that one. You've not seen this one, have you? No. So you get the instructions. You get your H640, way too much H640. You get the pink, the pink and the pink. Oh, now apparently there's issues in checking out the web now. We'll, we could, have, you rung, have you rung somebody upstairs to sort it out? Okay. There you go, 24 99 What I'm going to do now is we're going to go to demo because there's nothing else we can do. We'll just go to demo. They're all 24 99 and the pattern on its own was 9 99 We're going to check about the checking out. We're going to check about the graphics while Susie's doing her demo. Over to you, Susie. Okay. Um, right, so folding caddy... Um, the size I've suggested is because it fitted all my smaller rulers, as you saw, um, up to my, well, I think I got my eight and a half inch was the, the size that I was working on. And they're the ones that I carry the most. So I wanted them protected when I travelled. Right. Um, but as John's already said, I've also got one at home that I've got notebook, pen, because you can put um, stitch lines in if you want to oh, pen brilliant. shots. It's also really good for uh, as um, a jewellery brush and that sort of thing. And it's, it's one of those things that once you start making them, you think, oh, I could do this for that and that for that. But it's really quick and easy to make. You've got three fat quarters, so your biggest choice is where does what go? Which of the fabrics am I going to have where? So you want one that's your outer, one that will be your inner lining, and then the other one becomes your pocket piece and your flaps. And then you'll have a binding. Now, you could do a scrappy binding with what's left if you wanted to. Um, it's up to you. So I've already gone ahead, cut everything out, but I've chosen to have the blue on the outside. Right. The lemony colour on the inside, or buttercup, I think this is. And then I'm using the white... Um, fabric as my pocket and my f um, binding and my flaps are the yellow and the blue nice so that's the the scenario I chose right so the first thing you're going to do is layer up once you've cut your pieces the outer you're going to put the h640 onto it and then put a same size piece of the line the other fabric you chose and then if you want to do some quilting stitch. Right. If you don't quilt, you probably want to base stitch. Right. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Tack it in place or a bit of H505 uh, spray. Right. Uh -huh. You know, the um, fabric spray yeah. adhesive. That will just hold everything in place. I would advise doing some form of stitching. I mean, yeah. with the sample you've got, all I did was the serpentine stitch. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just a, few, just yeah, a couple just of, a like, three lines. lines, yeah. Literally, just to hold it <clears> in place. <throat> with um, my caddy that I use, my rulers, I think I did similar to this, but I cross-hatched right, as well. Okay. Depends what you want to do. It's a yeah. great opportunity, though, to try out a bit of quilting. Yeah. Because it? it's not a big piece. So then we're going to um, do put the pocket piece in place. So the pocket piece is actually exactly the same size. Oh, okay. They're all cut the same size, yeah. which means that if you change your mind after you've cut everything, it's not the end of the world. You can right. swap things around. Um, but what we are going to do, I'm just going to trim this slightly because I've once I'd quilted, I squared this off. Oh, so I need to smally. square this as well. So let's just take the edge off this, and then we're going to. The first thing you're going to do with the pockets is a lot of um, pressing and folding, actually. Right. Which is quite handy. And do you know you can't cut with a pen? No, <laughs> that's the way you pick the pen up. Cut with a rotary cutter, which has a new blade in Ray. it. Hooray! New year, new blade. No, it isn't. It's <laughs> new project, new blade. That yes. should be everybody's motto this year. Yeah. None of this. Oh, I've changed my blade back in. So the first thing you want to do is to press your pocket piece in half. Okay. Uh, right side, uh, wrong sides together. Open it up. And then we're going to press the 
out uh, edge. So fold it with the lay it with the right uh, wrong side up. Yeah. And fold the short edges so that they're right uh, wrong sides together, just short of that middle crease. I mean, a millimeter, eighth of an inch. That sort of gap we're looking at uh -huh. and the reason for that is if you go right up to the middle when we start stitching that into place it'll get really bulky oh. so if you are we all right yeah, yeah you know it's the phone's going that's all oh phone as well I know. everything must be going. urgent is it the bat bat phone yes excellent so then i'm going to give those a good press because then they'll stay in place lovely and then press over the whole thing. Right. Then what we want to do is, I know that's in the way, if I turn it that way, it's probably Perfect. Lovely, isn't it? Yeah, lovely. Then you want some H640. Oh, okay. Okay, now these want to be a little bit narrower than the actual pocket size. Yeah. So you can see they'll fit in. Does it way. tell us in your instructions it tells, what it size tells to cut exactly good. what size to cut. Yeah. And what we're going to do with these is we're going to lift up what we've just done and we're going to place our H640 on there. Okay. And then we're going to press that into place. You uh, are you pressing the sticky which side's the sticky so side? So I've got the sticky side towards this bit. Okay. It doesn't really matter which oh, side okay. it goes, but press the side that's sticky. Right. Does that make sense? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Otherwise you're going to be pressing for ages yeah. before it takes. But with a hot iron, H640 adhesive melts really quickly. And the trick the other trick with anything like that is to warm your ironing table first. Uh-huh. Because if that's warm, the minute your H640 is on there, it's already started absorbing yeah. heat and melting. So we've got H640 lining our pocket, and that adds that layer of protection that we want. The next thing I want to do is to fold it back over. Yeah, so it's quite a squidgy pocket now. It is a squidgy pocket. I love a squidgy pocket. Uh -uh. And then I'm just repressing that central crease. Okay. Right, I'm going to move that back. So now we want to find the centre of our caddy that we've quilted. So you can do that by measuring or you can just do it the quick way and just fold it in half and just hand press. So I know it's roughly there. So I'm just going to mark the edge lost it there it is with my friction pen uh-huh now to stop these flapping around in the breeze it yeah. is a good idea to put a pin in but don't put the pin in this side because you'll uh, struggle to retrieve it put the pin in on this side through all the layers and it just means that everything's held flat now if you want to at this juncture yeah. It's quite a nice idea to do a bit of top stitching. And I'm going to do that along the top edge, that folded edge of the pocket. And I'm just going to use a straight stitch. I'm going to increase the stitch length slightly. Uh huh. And I'm just going to do a top stitch um, just under a quarter of an inch away from the edge. It just then holds that fold, whoops, fold in place. Uh huh. Right. I'm going to break a habit of a lifetime and trim off my cotton ends. <laughs> Right. So now we've got a pocket that's not 
the flaps are secured, uh -huh. what I want to do is line up the central crease that was my pocket with the centre marking on my base, right. like that. And then I'm just going to put in some clips. You couldn't just put your project just a tiny bit forward, could you? Because no, it's fine now, but when you put your when you Head, bend over to put yeah, your yeah, sorry, I was on. just trying to align my yeah, that's okay. edge. Do you mean you don't want view of the top of my head? No, thanks. Well, that's Not just today. Very new year, new roots. It was going to be a new haircut, but I had to postpone. Oh no! Too much work. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> Stuart's gone off to have his hair cut, he said. That was the first thing he was going to do. Gone on his detox and he's going to have his hair cut. Excellent. I, um, yeah, I can't decide whether to have it all cut short. Oh, really? What, like Peter Panish? Uh, not quite that short, but... Right, like a short bob, like yeah. a Louise Brooks bob. Yeah. Well, I don't know who Louise Brooks is. <gasps> yes, you do. Do I? I'm not very good with names of people. I'm, uh... I know faces, I'm not very good with names. Right. She was around in the 1920s, so you wouldn't know her personally. <laughs> oh, right, right yeah. okay. I will know her face. Yeah. So what I'm now going to do is stitch that pocket into the centre. Um, so obviously you can't use a quarter inch to do this. Uh -huh. So I'm going to go for a middle alignment of my needle. Mm -hmm. Again, because I'm going through a number of layers, I am going to keep a slightly longer stitch length and then it fits with everything else that's going to happen um, as on the machine as well. Uh -huh. And do it from the pocket side because then you know what's going on. And you're just going to stitch straight across. And then once you've done that, you're going to then repeat those stitch lines a quarter of an inch from that central line as well. So you've just got a double hold of stitching for your pocket piece. Oh, yes, I do, yes. Um, not quite as severe as that, I don't <laughs> think. But then, you see, that was what I was going to do on Monday, but then I'll sleep and... Sleep? You don't sleep? No, I haven't this week. I, and I have to say, I am, I've got to stay up till about midnight tonight. Are you doing one of your Facebook lives? Yeah, and I, I am going to struggle, I think. Can't you have a nana nap in the afternoon? No, because I've got a dog walk and prep for Facebook Live. Uh, uh. I know I've, mentally I've prepped. I know what I'm doing, oh, but I just that. haven't physically prepped. And, I'd and explain like... why it's so late at night. Oh, it's because it's for an American company yeah. and it's 5 p.m. for them. Yeah. So it's live around 5, it is, and, um, which is great. And actually, for me, it does work for us as a, as a household. Because everyone else is in bed. Well, no, Dunks is still at work then, so... Um, he comes home about halfway through. Oh, OK. But the dog's definitely tucked up by some of Our dog is so hilarious. His main Christmas present was a new blanket because he dog. loves his blankets. <laughs> he goes and gets his blanket when he's cold. And doesn't know, he like the old one then? Yeah, he loves the old one as well, but he has one upstairs, one downstairs. Oh, OK. But he, he, you know when he's cold because he goes and gets his blanket. Oh. So funny. So funny. So I'm just going to give that a quick iron to get rid of that pen marking. Because remember, it's heat erasable. Yeah. So now our pocket is secured in the middle. Right. And it just looks like a book spine on the outside. Gorgeous. So what we have to do now is the flaps. So right. everything is made and then assembled at the end. So what with the flaps, again, you need to decide what's outside, what's inside, and put some H640 on one of them. Uh-huh. I have cut the H640 slightly smaller. I tend to do that with my H640. Because right. Because then it's not going to get trapped in the seams. So what I want to do with this is round the corners. Now, there are corner round the rulers out there, I know. I uh -huh. have at least three. 
but and I also have the lid of my pot. Fine. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is just use that as my. Oh, template. hang on! You just need to bob your head, Axe. We can't yeah. see what you're doing. So I'm going to use this as my template. So Lovely. I'm just going to align it as near as I can to the corner, and do the same this side. Draw around. Mm -hmm. um, what I will do is put a couple of pins in this side so that nothing's going to move as I'm cutting. And then I want a pair of skizzers, which I've put somewhere. No, perhaps I didn't. Bear with. There you go. Sorry, there's no graphics. We're having issues with the um, server or whatever it's called that deals with it. Show controller. I'm glad you said it happened the other day because otherwise I'd say it was me. I seem to have this effect on technology. No, it did it for two hours the other day. So we're, I think that over the festive break, there's been a lot of work done and all this water has made an impact into things as well. Yeah. I know that all the technical people out there will probably be laughing when I say that, but... Pff. No. So I've just got a nice curved edge now. Okay. What I'm going to do is a quarter inch seam around that edge but leave the other short side uh, long side open open yeah straight side because yeah. that means that turning through will be mega mega easy she says huh but i have a trick for that as well that's it right so we're going back to and i'm i'm not going to have a long stitch length i'm just going to have the normal stitch length for this okay so I'll just set it back again and off we go. Sorry, realised I was on the wrong one. So for this, when you get to the curve, if you make sure you've got, if you've got the, the uh, ability to keep a pivot needle, so a needle down when mm -hmm. you take your foot off the um, power, Okay have that option open because then as you do a curve it means that you've got more control as it goes round the curve mm -hmm. and don't try and do a curve a million miles an hour even I slow down mm -hmm. <laughs> it's about the only thing I do slow down for So then what we're going to do is just snip into that. Oh, I keep pulling away too quickly. Oh, what have you done? If you pull, you know when you've got your automatic thread cutter? Yeah. If you're too enthusiastic and pull away before it's finished. Well, it hasn't cut. It won't cut, will yeah. it? But I should just slow down. So what I want to do now is to snip round this curve without snipping those stitches. Okay. So... You just want to do... You I'm see, you're like me yesterday. We had some little uh, snippy scissors on. I said, I haven't got any snippy scissors because I do all my cutting, cutting. into round curves like that using big scissors. I mean, I have got these. No, 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 but I but also use... I always, big yeah, I don't know do why, that. but I... I That's the way I was taught. Yeah, I think it's habit, isn't it? Yeah. And once you've got that in your head... Yeah. So, and the reason for doing this is just so that when you turn it through, that curve edge remains a curve rather than going into a lumpy, bumpy... Yeah. What's it? You can trim the seam allowance out if you want to, but if, you, if you've done this, it's not necessary. Then all you're going to do is turn that through. And it is really easy to turn through because it's quite big. Mm -hmm. So my trick now is I'm going to use the thing I drew round oh, yeah. to open up that curve, because it oh. should theoretically be the right size. Yeah. And then you can run it along your seams and flatten your seam out as well. If you haven't, if you've used a ruler, you can still do this, or you can use um, 
your tourney tools or any big, if you're a paper crafter as well, you can use your um, huge ball embossing tool. Oh, what? So the embossing tools, when you do embossing... Oh, yeah, 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 I know. You know, yeah. the ball end. Yeah, Well, yeah. I've got one that I use for flowers, shaping yeah. flowers, that is... I mean, it's bigger than the centre of that rotary cutter. Oh. It's massive. So a little bit like the clover iron... Yeah. ...has a, the spatula ones and the round ones. Yes, yeah, so I've got one of those as well. But you use whatever you want to flatten yeah. it out. And then I would give this a press because then everything will flatten down and look nice and neat. So I'll just give this a press. Mm -hmm. So that's, and you're going to do that twice, obviously, unless you don't want a flat one side. But the flaps are a way of keeping everything contained. Yeah. Then we're going to position the flaps on to our piece. And they are supposed to be narrower because if they're the same size, we can't bind it without catching the flap. Of course. And it will be a pain because everything will catch. So I've just deliberately made them so that they're smaller. And then what I do is um, pin and clip these into place. Right, you can base stitch if you want to. Life's too short, really, isn't it? I tend to pin it. Uh -huh. And then clip the tops because then I know where they are and then I'm just going to bind around the edge so you can see it's not a project that is going to take hours but it's yeah. a great way of delving into that fat quarter stash <laughs> that following your Christmas tidy up I uh -huh. bet you found loads yeah did you have a Christmas tidy up then no not yet I haven't had time uh -huh. um Decide where you want your join to be, and I would avoid the centre, um, <clears throat> purely because it's going to get too bulky and yeah. it's a pain. Yeah. So, and try and avoid anywhere where something's crossing. So I tend to make my join at one of the short ends. Yeah. It's just easier. And you want to leave a bit of your binding free, and you don't want to start where you want to finish. You want to start a good four inches away. Uh -huh. So I'm actually going to start it here. Now it's your call as to whether you bind from the inside and then stitch to the out or the other way round. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Uh -huh. um, you can machine attach your binder. You can hand attach. I'm a machine attached to one side and then hand sew to the other. Yeah. So what you um, are going to do, we're going to start binding this. And because we're near a corner, it's quite good because I'll be able to show you how to do a corner. You didn't do curvy thing. corners in this one? No, not in that one I didn't, no. Just to show you, you don't have to do no. curvy corners. I can't find where you did your binding. It's that, is that neat. Is see. that is that good? I can't <laughs> see where your binding starts and finishes. Oh, gosh. It's very good. Thank you oh. very much. <laughs> that's a miracle <laughs> um, so for this I am going to increase my stitch length I've got it set to a quarter inch seam but I've shuffled my needle over a couple of notches so uh -huh. it's just under the quarter inch but I am going to increase my stitch length um, it defaults at 1.8 on the Elna 780 plus but I'm going to default it to, I'm going to move it to 2.4 and that's because I'm going through four layers uh -huh. of fabric plus two lots of H640. It's just to give the stitch a chance to form properly. Exactly. Susie, what a brilliant idea. I would never have thought about using a large ball tool for turning out. I'm definitely going to give it a try. Always handy hits and tips from you. Thank you from Lynn Tuit. Thank you. And then Alan says, good morning. My Elna 570 A sewing machine has just been delivered. Oh. You'll love it, Alan. Alan. You'll absolutely love it. Yeah, go and have a make a cup of tea or coffee and unbox. Exciting. So once you get to the corner, you're going to stop a quarter of an inch away. And I'm sorry if I'm teaching no, no, you're right. people how to do things. And this is not the easiest fabric to see. Um, so I stopped, stopped stitching the straight at a quarter. And then I turned the fabric 
45 degrees and stitched into that corner at 45 degrees. Right. Then you're going to fold, and, and I've cut the cord, uh, cut the, cut the cord, cut the thread. It's because I was watching the Call the, call the Midwife special yesterday. Huh. Um, you're then going to fold that binding up on at 45 degree angle. Uh-huh. Put your fingers along where the edge of the fabric is, or your fingertips, and then fold your binding back on itself straight. And then we're going to start on this edge and carry on stitching as we were before at a quarter of an inch. Lovely. Okay, so that's how I turn corners. And it would have probably been better to put the other foot on, but hey. So if you have pinned, remember to take your pins out as you go. Because magic pins are magic, heat resistant and all the rest of it, but they are not serval. No. <laughs> and your same machine needle certainly doesn't want uh -huh. to. Uh, one thing I haven't put in yet is ties. If you want ties. Right. So with your... Side, On this one? Yeah. You've, I, Contact, let me yeah, throw it over shall to you. I throw it? There you go. So with this one, if you want ties, then use some of your excess fabric to make ties. I did have some somewhere. Oh, here they are. Um, so I've just made a couple here. You don't have to have a tie. Okay. If You might want a button loop instead, so that's what I'm going to put in here. Make oh, okay. it in exactly the same way. Yeah. Obviously, it doesn't have to be super long, but I'm going to put it in position as I get there. So I can show you. Lovely. But if you're doing ties, make sure that you position them inside your, as you're sewing your binding, but make sure they're directly opposite each other. Yeah. Otherwise, you're going to be tying on a skew. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. So there you go. I'll send you that back. Thank you. Thank you. So when I get to it, I've got a bit of um, loop here that I can use. I've got far too many, uh, too long a loop, but it doesn't matter. I can cut it down a bit. Depends how big your button is, I suppose. Yeah, or how far down you want your button to go as well. And also, uh, you could use a hair toggle or something like that, couldn't you, if you wanted to elasticate it? Yeah, a hair toggle's really good. I've got, that's, um, I've got a collection of sparkly ones that I use as well. That's oh. good. Well, you won't need it once you've got your hair cut. If I get it cut. You can guarantee by Wednesday I'll have chickened out. So have you made remade the appointment though? Uh, yes, I have. Yeah, I've remade it. Um, but even if I don't get it cut short, it needs a. It does need a cut. Yeah. yeah. It's Dewey's annual trim. Oh. <laughs> I'm terrible. Not very good with things like that. Every time I go to see my hairdresser, she says, "Right, who's wedding? Who's who's died?" <laughs> <laughs> That's all I ever go for, never. So again, I'm stopping a quarter inch before, and your sewing machine feet, most of them have got a quarter inch marking, so you don't have to guesstimate, but you can always mark it. Yeah. And I always bring it away from the machine to do this bit, so I know that I'm getting that accurate turn. Can I hold that in? And then when I get halfway, I'm going to put the loop in. Uh huh. How do you remind yourself to put the hoop in? How do I remind myself? Yeah, because um, I would now go, oh, straight down here. Yeah, a miss. Um, normally I pin it before I go, okay. but I didn't this time. So what I'm going to do, I've just folded it over. You can, if you want to, there is a, another way of folding a loop to, for a button so that it lies flat mm -hmm. around the button. If you find roughly the middle, yeah. put your finger nail or thumbnail on the middle and fold down that side 45 degrees. Swap your thumbs over and fold down the other side 45 degrees. Graphics are now working. And that gives you a nice flat catch yep. for your button. Yep. So if you want to do that, you can do that. And remember, these need to go with the ends, the open ends, 
underneath the binding on top of your um, flap at the halfway point, which I'm guesstimating is going to be there. If it isn't, I'm sorry. <laughs> So if you've just joined us, the graphics that are in at the moment are not the ones Susie's making. They're for this green and blue one. I'll go through everything again, a proper uh, roundup. Now we've got the graphics back at the end of the hour. Uh, but that, that the, the Moda and Net Morris, the Moda and Morris is this one. Uh, Susie's using the Liberty one. Um, cool. Do you, did you want to recap or go through any while I finish this side off? Oh, okay, because you're just stitching. Okay, I'm right. just stitching. Okay, so the bundle that's in the graphics at the moment is this one here. So what you get is you get your metre of H640. You'll have loads and loads of that left over. Plus you get three fat quarters. Plus you get the instructions at £24.99. £24.99 for that one. Then the one Susie, and that makes this. Oh, there you go. Then Susie's using the Liberty one which is this one here. So a metre of your HX40, Liberty, Liberty, Fat Quarters, plus a lemon, plus your instructions, 24 99 We also have it in pink. Again, you get the instructions. A metre of your HX40 with three Fat Quarters there. 24 99 The pattern on its own. Very, very popular, 9 99 Half the stock of those gone. Half the stock of that is gone. Beautiful. I will go on to the sewing caddy in a second, the sewing machine cover in a second. Back to Susie. Okay. So I'm on my final corner now. Uh -huh. So I'm getting to the point where I'm going to be joining these. Now, there are lots of different ways of joining quilt binding uh -huh. ends. Everyone has their own method. And given the number of times I join and bind quilts, I still have to <laughs> remind myself uh -huh. sometimes on how to do it. So what you want to do is to stop and allow yourself a gap. Now there isn't a big gap here and it is gonna make it a bit awkward, but that's my fault, not anybody else's. Uh -huh. So what you want to do is to make sure that you've got a bit of leeway. Find a point where they are gonna meet and this is how I'm going to join these and this will give me a straight join. Okay. Not going for a mitre join and going for a straight join. So I bring the two together and as if they were stitched down uh -huh. and I'm going to fold back the fabric where they cross so they actually come together in exactly the right place. Right. And then I'm going to give that a really good press. So that that will mark for me where they're going to be. And then what I'm going to do is take one of them and open it out and turn it 45 degrees so I can see that. Can we line. see that, Bruce? Thank you. Yeah, brilliant. Yeah. So I've turned it 45. Yeah. So this would be this side of my binding. Now I'm going to take the other piece and lay it on top to match. Now this is where it gets awkward and very often you have to sort of fiddle them mess about and you'll get very cross because you haven't left yourself enough room yeah blame the designer yeah i would always it's always my fault yeah well, everything in life is my fault i've decided mm -hmm. although i'm not responsible for wars <laughs> <laughs> and then i tend to pin one side when those two folds are aligned, you can see them. If you prefer to mark it with a pen, mark it with a pen. Yeah. It's, it's whatever works for you. I'm quite happy seeing the folds, but what you want to do is to make sure that those fabric pieces are straight and lined up. So 
if you want to use clips, pins, whatever. And then you've got to get that under your sewing machine. So yeah. remember, this is only a bit of fabric, so it folds. You can do origami with fabric quite successfully. Yeah. And then you can always press it afterwards. But what you want to do is to stitch a straight line on there. So I'm going to... And try and keep everything aligned as you do it which is not always the easiest mm -hmm. thing. And when you've got a big quilt and you're trying to do this, oh, it, usually words are spoken. Oops, not of a nice nature. No. And before you cut anything, yeah. bring it back and just make sure that it's fitting and it's not going to bulge. Obviously, this is going to disappear, but you want to make sure that that is right. It looks good to me. Yeah. So now I can trim this off and press it properly. So I'll trim it back to about a quarter of an inch. Save those bits for button covering. And then I'm going to press this seam open and then press my binding in half again. And that is how I do my straight binding join. That's right. But ev as I say, everybody has their own method. Do what works for you. But this is a nice um, project to l do if you've never done a binding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, a bit of quilting, a bit of binding, a bit of H640. It's lots of new techniques, isn't it? Um, yeah, and also it, it's not so big that yes. you, you've got weight to deal with as well. So now all I'm going to do is stitch the rest of that binding into place. Now, obviously, if I was going to be putting ties in, at this point, the other tie would be going in. Yeah, of course, yeah. But I'm not doing ties, I'm doing a button. And then stitch that down. And then what we're going to do is press this binding over. Uh -huh. Now, go just look at your corners before. Don't trim too much because you'll end up making holes in things. But get rid of any threads you haven't cut at the corners. Mm -hmm. And trim. I'm just going to trim this edge. Because that was where my flat was a bit longer and I'm going to trim off the excess of my ties because you don't want those bulking out your border no. your um, binding sorry so when you come to do um, flip the binding to the other side what I do is hand flip it first all the way around just push the corners over and then I'll take this to the same uh, so iron, that's to an the iron. ironing board. <laughs> oh, my little prim iron decided that 2024 was not going to be its year yesterday. Oh. And completely gave up the ghost. We Bless need a it. quilting bear one then. 29.99. Yeah, I need to get one because yesterday I spent all day running up and down our stairs because the other ironing station is upstairs. Why didn't you just take it down? Because it's, it's, it's an Alessio iron and my ironing board oh. space wasn't big enough. Yeah. And I was trying to iron big fabric. So still, I've got my steps, steps in. in. Yeah. Yeah. Steps in, everything in. So then what I do is bring my binding over. And you see, you can see your stitch line. What you want to make sure is when you fold your binding over, it's covered that stitch line. Mm -hmm. And then I clip it into place and I just work my way around you can press it as you go if you uh -huh. want to but I find that binding tends to take itself anyway when you get to a corner now if you look at how your corner folded when you did it so on this occasion the side that I've folded over is on top so when I come to do the back I want to make that one go underneath so I put my finger at four, fingernail at 45 degrees uh -huh. and fold the other side down onto it. And the reason that I've found, if you reverse 
the fold mm -hmm. on the back, then you get a much neater mitre yeah. on both sides. I'm going to trim these as I go because I don't want these sticking out. And then I would then hand sew this. Look, why is it going 111 for? Because they're the clips that I have for my when I'm cutting out. Uh, <laughs> thought you'd have separate ones for that. I have, they're, but they're all in this oh, okay. pot. At home, I have um, a piece of a ruler. I've got a ruler that I put all my marked ones on that aren't in use. But for travelling, I can't do that because they all get knocked off. You what? need to get out more. <laughs> I'd love to get out more. <laughs> I get out for a dog walk every yeah, day. Yeah, at least you do get I'm out that. for two hours walking. Oof. I have to say, though, over Christmas, uh, my yeah. niece and I yeah. took the dogs out, Julie yeah. and Mike and, and, and um, Auntie Claire's dogs out. We were gone for hours on end because once you start, we were chatting. Cause yeah, we and you lose so long, it. And you lose yeah, time. You do. And you get back and you think, oh, my goodness, we've walked miles. Yeah, I know. It's brilliant. Yeah, and I talk to the dog as I walk. Yeah, well, that's why people avoid you. Well, yeah. Um, I'm going to stop you pinning that there because we've also got to talk yes, about the... let's um, talk about the other one. I'm other one as well. So we've also got a reversible sewing machine cover and pressing mat, which is this here. Yeah. Pattern on its own. There it is. So it's reversible, is it? It is, because you can use either side. OK, Do did we take pictures of both sides, Bruce? OK, let me show you the other side then. And the other thing with it is if you use heat-resistant wadding, you could use it as an ironing station. Oh, yeah, well. yeah, 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 look. There's the other side there. The other side there. Right, OK, pattern on its own. Are you all right? Yes, I'm fine. OK, pattern on its own there is £9.99. I think Susie, cat, cat, I think Susie needs something. Uh, 9 99 is the pattern on its own. Now I've got three bundles, right? So I've got this bundle here, which is what that one is made out of. You're getting your cream half metre. Um, and then that's a fat quarter, that's a fat quarter, that's a fat quarter. Yeah, they're, they're four so there's two quarters. half metres and three and four fat quarters, is that right? Yes. yes. Four fat quarters, half metre, half metre instructions, 29 99 You do need to buy wadding to go inside there. Oh, yeah, yeah, you do need to buy wadding to go inside that one. Lots of those in baskets, twenty nine ninety nine. Make sure you check out. Then I've got the blue version, which is oh, blue's the most popular. <coughs> so you've got the half meter of the soft blue, half meter of the ivory, and then you've got your four fat quarters there in your different blues. You've got a little liberty, oh, all liberty. Yeah. Liberty plus your plain blue there, twenty nine ninety nine. And then we've got this this colorway, uh, which you get your. Not peach, is it? What colour is that? Have you, did you choose this one? No, I don't know. What colour is that one? Anyway, so you get half metre of that, half metre of grey, and then you get your four fat quarters of your grey and your peaches oh, and your creams and your lemons. Colours? I haven't seen that colour. Uh, beautiful. Uh, 29 99 that one. 29 99 so now, um, we're not, obviously we haven't got time for a demo because we've only got two minutes left. But are there any bits that we need to watch out for on here? So what I would say is um, when you come to cut, make sure you're cutting accurately and do square up your blocks as you go, which it does tell you in the instructions because when you come to do the bobbin, for example, you're going to be doing not a flying goose, it's sort of an abstract. Well, let's have a look at that. Oh, yeah, like a trapezium. Yeah. And then you're going to join it once... You oh, so you're making like a cotton reel thing. Absolutely. Yeah. So it makes like a cotton reel effect. Yeah. And when you come to quilting, if you want to accentuate that by putting threads in... Oh, yeah. You could do that mm -hmm. as well. Or hand Have you done that on Of course not, because I was sewing that at nine o'clock last uh. night. <laughs> um, so it, it's a great, again, an opportunity to experiment. And the other thing I would say about it is I use mine to cover my sewing machine... Um, when it's not working, yeah. this is a rarity. But then when I take it off, rather than just put it to one side, if you put it underneath your sewing machine, right. the difference in noise in your house is quite... Oh, powerful. right. And you've got posh sewing machines. Yes, I have got posh sewing machines. But it's still... Because I work on a table that's hollow... Oh, of course. The noise is quite loud... Yeah. 
but if you stand it on a mat, it, it deadens the noise quite yeah. considerably, but it also means that you're, you've got something to protect your work Able, surface yeah, exactly. as well as a, a, a cover. And my one at home has got heat resistant wadding in right. so that I can, when I'm out and about, use it as my ironing station. Even though I've got, I always carry my cut and press, I've still got an extra yeah. bigger piece. Well, yeah, you don't know when you're going to suddenly yeah. need it, do you? Well, it's quite handy for when you travel because mm. you can just roll that up quite or it goes in flat in your suitcase and yeah. you've got an ironing board because yeah. not every hotel no no tell me about it yeah. uh anyway 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 they are your that's your sorry we haven't got time to a demo on that one but there's your reversible sewing machine cover and pressing mat uh, you've got it in three different colors there which one's in at the moment the blue one which is the most popular very very popular uh is there anything else i need to mention before i go Okay, Susie, so you're back in an hour. I am. And we're going to be doing a block cover. Block, block keeper. Block keeper, block keeper. Yeah. Now, the thing about this is it's got four blocks, five blocks in the pattern. Yeah. But you only have to use two of them, but you can choose which two you want. But that means you've then got three free blocks, as it were, to do quilts with or cushion covers or anything like that with, haven't you? And the blocks I've put in are specifically designed to increase your journey through quilting so there's two very simple strip blocks and right. then we move into half square triangles and then into flying geese oh so wow. it's it's, it's a graduation sort of develop your quilting journey. how brilliant is that okay don't go anywhere i'll be back with dressmaking fabrics in five minutes from now <laughs> Here at Sewing Street, we only charge one P&P throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard P&P is £3.95. Charges may differ for outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option for £5.95 on certain items. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Are you having trouble finding the ideal gift for that someone special? Then why not treat them to a Sewing Street gift card? Simply head over to the website and scroll down to the bottom of the page and click where it says gift cards. You can decide between posting the card or delivery by email, then decide the value that you would like to send. Whether it's for a birthday, a special occasion or just a way to say thank you, the Sewing Street gift card is the perfect answer. Every day, our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects and we feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to sewing or a seasoned pro, you're sure to learn something new. We're live every day from 8am till 1pm and you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Did you know that we can deliver to over 20 different countries worldwide, spanning four continents from the UK to Australia? Check out our website for the list of countries and delivery costs. Sewing Street, stitching the world together. Shopping with Sewing Street couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.sewingstreet.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your sewing room essentials to fabrics, sewing machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Sewing Street app. Simply head over to your app store and search Sewing Street. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Here at Sewing Street, we only charge one P&P throughout the day. 
You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard P&P is £3.95. Charges may differ for outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option for £5.95 on certain items. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Are you having trouble finding the ideal gift for that someone special? Then why not treat them to a Sewing Street gift card? Simply head over to the website and scroll down to the bottom of the page and click where it says Gift Cards. You can decide between posting the card or delivery by email, then decide the value that you would like to send. Whether it's for a birthday, a special occasion or just a way to say thank you, the Sewing Street gift card is the perfect answer. Did you know at Sewing Street that on various products we offer split pay? That means on certain items you can spread the cost over two, three, four or sometimes even five interest-free monthly payments. Just pay the first instalment when you purchase and you're away. So shop your way with split pay. Did you know that we can deliver to over 20 different countries worldwide, spanning four continents from the UK to Australia? Check out our website for the list of countries and delivery costs. Sewing Street, stitching the world together. Shopping with Sewing Street couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.sewingstreet.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your sewing room essentials to fabrics, sewing machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Sewing Street app. Simply head over to your app store and search Sewing Street. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Here at Sewing Street, we only charge one P&P throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard P&P is £3.95. Charges may differ for outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option for £5.95 on certain items. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Dressmaking fabrics now. Ooh. Very loud, wasn't it? No, I was going, ooh, fabrics. I was going, ooh, I've got a, a, an echo in my ear. Anyway, Calico Bolt. Now, we saw in Helen Rhiannon's book earlier, you can't... If you're doing dressmaking, you need calico to make your twirls, basically. And now, uh, calico by the half metre was sold out this morning. So this is the only way I've got it. But this is the most affordable way per metre or per half metre to buy it. £124.99, you're saving £24.50. You are getting uh, 25 metres, 25 metres calico. Now, it's twice this width, by the way. That's it folded in half. So it's twice that width. You're getting an awful lot of calico on here. £124.99. Uh, now, now, that's my first split pay of the day. So, £124.99. You can have it on split pay, £62.49, right? We don't charge. We don't charge for split pay. We don't charge for split pay. Yeah? Yeah, you don't know what I'm talking about. I'm sorry. I, I should have explained to Ben earlier. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, say that again. Yeah. 
124.99, two-way split pay, completely, completely, we don't charge for, it's 0%, 0% interest, we do not charge you for using split pay. I know. So there you go, there you go. Another reason to take advantage of our split pay. So 124.99, you get 25 metres, a whole bolt. All the towels you can make that, but you don't have to. You could make curtains with it, you could dye it, you can make dresses with it, you can uh, back quilts with it, you can back all sorts of cushion backs. You can make cushions for your, uh, for your garden in the summer out of this. Calico, I think, is one of the most versatile and, oh, and brilliant fabrics. Uh, 124.99. OK, I've, I've got, today I've got fewer than 30 of them. We'll always get these in stock. We'll always have these in stock. Uh, June's back to the dentist. Why does it hurt, hurt so much more afterwards? That's because the things were wearing off, isn't it? The jab's wearing off, June. My, I rang my dentist. Now, I've, I'm not trying to brag, but I, well, everyone has to go to a private dentist really now, don't they? But um, I rang up my, you know, they got sent me an email saying, oh, it's time for your um, six monthly checkup, right? March. They can't send me till March. It's because, well, it's because I have to see the hygienist and the what's it at the same time. But no, no, March was the first appointment because everyone in January has their six monthly checkup, it seems. Anyway, I'm not complaining, not complaining. Because if there was anything wrong, I could ring them and I could go and get that sorted straight away. But it's just my checkup. 124.99. Beautiful. Oh, no, I, I have this white coat syndrome. Like, if they try and take my blood pressure at the doctors or the dentist or anywhere like that, it's, they're like, it shouldn't be this. <laughs> and then we sit quietly, chat for it, and they go, oh, it's coming down now. Oh, it's bound to, down to normal now. So I've got a machine at home, so I check it every day now to make sure that it's all OK. No, don't wear my white coat while I'm doing it. In fact, I don't wear anything while I'm doing it. Uh, good morning, Johnny. It's after I've had my shower in the morning. I go downstairs, put the cuff on, switch. It's fine. Right. Gorgeous, that's your calico, calico, calico. Keep going through for that one. Now, there's lots of those in baskets. Check out, check out, check out. Now, is there an issue? Is there an issue? Because there's lots in baskets and, and only... Well, has anyone checked out? Oh, OK. okay. Lots in baskets. Right, um, maybe there's a delay. We'll wait and see. We'll wait and see. Yeah? Right, so where am I going first? Four metre bundles. Are these done into their sizes? Four metre bundles first. OK. Four, two and a half. Lovely. OK. Wash linen. Enzyme wash linen in the pink. Oh, it's, lav it's not lavender. Well, I suppose you can get a pinky lavender, can't you? But Beautiful. 49.99. So you're getting four metres here. Four metres you're getting in that one. 100% linen, enzyme wash to give it that lovely thing. So it has been washed already. I would still wash it again before I cut my dresses out or anything out of this. Enzyme wash just means, you know how you have stone washed and to give you a different effect. So you can either wash it in the tumble dryer with stones or you can wash, not wash it, wash it with stones to make it stone washed or you can wash it with enzyme. Just kind of uh, gives it that really lovely vintage feel to it. I wouldn't put stones in your washing machine. You need somewhere special. And also, you look like you're from um, Bross, if you do that. 49 99 uh, Check out... Check, now, we're just checking, you see. We're just checking, you see, see if anyone checks out, because we think there might be an issue with the checking out. Let me know if there is. Let me know. Because we weren't able to do uh, messages on the bottom or anything, because we didn't have any graphics or anything. 49 nine times beautiful colour. I, I wouldn't call it lavender. What colour would you call that? I'd call that a tea rose, Victorian tea rose, per se. Like dusky, dusky rose. Thank you. We all agree with that one. Right, four metres, that one. So then I've got it in navy. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Beautiful. There's your navy, four metres. Hello, Pauline. Not seen you for ages. No, not Auntie Pauline. Auntie Pauline never goes home. She's here every... I think she sleeps under the stairs. 49.99 for your four metres. Oh, Bruce saw her at Tesco's. Uh, which Tesco's was that, then? The big one in Redditch. It, didn't you not send me there one day? Is it down by a roundabout? 
Oh. Where did you say? Oh, no, was it Sainsbury's you sent me to to get my um, ginger that day? At 49.99. Beautiful. Navy linen, 100% linen, four metres. It's gorgeous. Look, 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 gorgeous colour. Uh, I don't know. No, no, you sent me there the first time because someone said they only sell it in Sainsbury's and we haven't got a Sainsbury's in Stratford. So you sent me to the Sainsbury's here. No. Yeah, the little one. We used to have a little one, but that's gone. Did it? Now we've got the, the, down that, that down that row of there's a lot of people that do sit in the doorways in the daytime. So, right, look, this is a lovely. Is this duck egg? I bet it, well, te it's not teal. I don't know whose name it is. No, it's not pewter. No, it's, it's teal. This one, more of a duck egg. This one though, forty nine ninety nine. They, you're getting four. How come we've moved then? <laughs> I can't go any further because the but things are. Uh, Forty nine ninety nine, teal enzyme washed, one hundred percent linen fabric. Also, I've noticed that when who's who's the equivalent of Kinga today next door? Lauren. Lauren, right? I don't know her because she's well because Kinga comes in at every break saying, "Would you like a drink? Would you like a drink? Would you like a drink?" Nobody's been in today. Oh, so she's making other people's, just not ours. That's why I've done it now, so it's fine. But forty nine ninety nine. Oh, I thought it was a new rule. Morning, John. Just home from work. Coffee made me on the telly. Happy Friday. Oh, Teresa, that's lovely. Do you want some enzyme wash linen, Teresa? Gorgeous, forty nine ninety nine. Oh, OK, now there must be a delay because the Calico Bolt is just checking out now. So maybe there's a bit of a delay going on with the system. You can always ring the call centre. They're upstairs waiting for your call. 0800 001 4433. At uh, 49.99 for your four metres... What would you make out of that? One of Jules's dresses is lovely in this. Beautiful. Alan, I said that you, your 570 had been delivered. He bought a 570 from his chef, 578. He'll be doing an unboxing video this afternoon. 49.99. Where do I find it, Alan? I don't know where to find yours. Right now I've got pewter. There you go. P would you call that pewter? I don't think I would. Oh, you'd call it school grey. I'd call it gunmetally grey. Battleship, battleship grey. I think it might be a pale for charcoal. Yeah. 49.99. Oh, there's a lot of noise going on next door. Oh, it's Lynn Jinx, isn't it? Lynn Garnet next door. That's what she was called before. She's married Lynn Garnet. Her surname's her maiden name was Garnet, yeah. I know. She's like, I am loving your company tonight. That's what she used to say all the time when she was on the night shift. Because I was also on the night shift on a different channel. I had just buy it. That was my my catchphrase was just buy it. Forty nine nine ten. I am loving your company tonight. Like a Victoria Wood sketch. She looks like Evita today. If you pop over to Jempori, she's only on for another 45 minutes. She looks like Evita today. She's got a black blouse, a very long chain, and her hair in one of those chignons. Right, this is nice. I love this corn. It won't be corn corn, it'll be called ochre, I imagine. Oh, what is it? Gold. Oh, I said gold at the beginning, didn't I? Yeah, I said gold to begin with, but I did think it's more. 49.99. How do you know angels have got golden hair? 
Oh, like rutilated quartz, not angel hair. Yeah, but then you can get black rutilated quartz as well, can't you? Uh, 49.99, four metre bundle. Beautiful. Now, chartreuse in the wash linen. Beautiful. Oh, uh, Ben would like a jacket. That'd be a very soft jacket, Ben. At 40, I wouldn't line it. I'd just do Hong Kong seams on it. Chartreuse enzyme, washed 100% linen, four metre bundle. Love the colour. It looks almost like pea soup as well, this one. Not too keen myself on a pea soup. Well, you are meant to put ham in pea soup, aren't you? Beautiful. 49.99. It's a lovely colour. Now, what else? Two and a half metres now. Got denim. Now, I've only got it in two colourways. That's dark, definitely. I'll, I'll give you the code. Would that be of any help? WS, the, the, the paler one, WSLJ71. But I'm starting with the dark, because we know that's definitely dark. Now, it's going to say four ounce, and it's not four ounce. Let's just double check. So this is, uh, it's not four ounce. It's not four ounce at all. This is like your quilting weight. It's not a four ounce denim, but it's what we always call the four ounce. It's made, don't make your jeans out of this. You make dresses out of it. It's like a chambre more than a four ounce denim, this one. 25, 99, that's good. 25, 99 for your two and a half metres. It's 16. What's the width of this one then? I think they're normally 60, aren't they, denims? Yeah, 58 inches wide. 25 99 make a lovely dress. Now, are the, are the bags inside? Do I, do I need to find the bag? There's loads of it. It's two and a half metres, lots, but look. If you were to... Oh, can I have some pins, please, Kat? Sorry, I just meant to ask. Thank you. you oh, no, make a lovely shirt. Make, it wouldn't be a heavy shirt, this one, but make a beautiful shirt, this one. Look at the way it falls. If you pleated this, right... I'm not getting particularly straight, but I just want you to see the fall on this one. Ooh. Make a lovely uh, summer dress. That blouse earlier that we had with the uh, ruching on it, uh, too fine for dungarees. Too fine for... I mean, I mean you could wear like a, a jumpsuit, a lightweight jumpsuit made out of this, but... Uh, Denim dungarees, it would be a bit too soft for this one. But look, see how it just it falls into the pleats. If you were to gather it, it would work really nicely and it would drape beautifully as well. Let's have a look. See, just uh, I wouldn't make an off-the-shoulder. Oh, I would I make an off-the-shoulder dress? See, I like wedding dresses made out of denim and things. Oh, yeah. I mean, Serafina's not having a denim wedding dress, but I quite like them. In fact, I think... Did, um, oh, no, she didn't get, she's not married yet. I think um, Helen Rhiannon was saying she was, she's made a denim wedding dress because that's how she would, used to um, make her money, was making wedding dresses. But look, you can make a lovely off-the-shoulder top for the summer. Really beautiful dress because it drapes beautifully. And there you go. That's why it's not four-ounce denim, you see. That's why it's a chambray. 
Right, so that's yours, Kat. Sorry, I'll leave that. I won't do that with all of them, don't worry. Right, then I've got the medium. Is it this one? Medium colour, not weight. Uh, this uh, mannequin's coming up later in the 12 o'clock hour. We've got a really good deal. It only comes in a medium, though. Oh, there you go. Oh, sorry, Kat. If I just push that over there for you. There you go. 25 99 This is the same weight as the last one I showed you. The other thing about denim is don't be frightened of using both sides. Oh, Derek says make a really butch shirt. Well, it could be butch then if you want, uh, butch if you want it to be, Derek. Or you can have it flouncy. With, um, you make a lovely, um, I'll tell you what that weight would make a lovely one of, like a um, Hamlet shirt with box pleated around the cuffs and box pleated around here and down the front. Be really nice, that would. 25 99 for your two and a half metres. And there would be enough to do a man's shirt because it's extra wide, this, isn't it? 58 inches wide. Oh, oh, wow. Very popular, this one. N really nice. This one's really nice to embroider onto as well. If you're going to make or smock, you could smock that as well. Twenty-four ninety-nine, Or make a denim shirt with a yoke, Ben's saying, and, and, and embroider the yoke. Beautiful. Twenty-five ninety-nine for two and a half metres. Right. Now I've got... Um, have they called this one denim as well? It's the only one I've got like it. Printed denim, small floral, there you go. Oh! 18.99. Oh, actually, I can tell you why. It's a lighter weight. It's not the same weight as that. It's a lighter weight. This would be a beautiful for a dress or a summer blouse or a very lightweight summer skirt. 18.99. Very popular printed denims. Very. In fact, they're so popular, I've only got one today. 18.99 for uh, two and a half metres. So actually, that works out at three. Uh, if I stick a 15, that leaves four. You know what I mean? 3.75 a half metre, I think it works out. Something like that, isn't it? Morning, John Scott. Is Hannah in today? No, it's her graduation today. Oh, was it yesterday? No, it's her, no, it's her graduation today. Is it the fifth today? Yeah, it's our graduation today. Oh, no. We're supposed to think about her at 10.30. 10.30. And ten, she's going to send in a picture. She's going to send in a picture because the, the dress that she bought for her graduation doesn't fit her. And then she had to rent the gown and the mortarboard. And the gown and the mortarboard, the rental was way more than her dress was. And she wasn't happy. And I said, well, you'd be grateful for that when the dress is all undone at the back. So she went, I didn't want to wear a Kirk gown. I didn't want to wear... And they had to buy tickets. They had to buy... Their the, the family and friends want to go and see it. They had to buy tickets. Three seventy nine was it? Oh, I said three did didn't I? Three seventy nine. Uh, Derek said, I'm now looking forward... Oh, for a Hamlet shirt pattern. Derek, I used to have one because it's just squares. You don't even need to shape it. The front is a square. The back is a square. The sleeves are squares. It's just where you put the cuff on and the, and the, and the um, box pleats around the cuff. I'll try and look for one. It was the first thing we ever made. So when uh, we had different teachers at Wimbledon School of Art and Fran Bristow, the first class we did with her was seams. And then the first thing we made was a Hamlet shirt. And I wore mine to death. We made it in cotton lawn. And I wore mine over and over and over. It was the 80s, remember. But I wore it over and over and over again. And I had a great big... Then we did an opera costume. And I did um, Il Pagliacci. Rosamond from Il... Rosalind from Il Pagliacci. And I had to make her this huge cashmere shawl with, like, um, embroidered... And I nicked it. And I used to go on the tube in my Hamlet shirt with my great big wrap in cashmere wrap. And then I bought a... Well, I'm, I must have looked a right mess because I used to wear a, I put in Putney Market, a, a World War II Mac that had bullet holes in it because I thought that was quite um, chic and I wore pixie boots. What must I have looked like? But I thought I looked fantastic. Which is, which is the main thing, isn't it? Uh, good morning. Where's the big telly? Would the four ounce denim work for an elasticated trousers, please? Yes, Susan, it would. They'd be lightweight. They'd be lightweight trousers. They wouldn't be like your jean weight. They'd be a lightweight trouser, but yes, they would. I would suggest cutting the legs wide so you've got a bit of movement in there as well, so it looks kind of lovely and, and uh, lush. But yes, definitely. Uh, right. Uh, could you make dungarees for a toddler? Yes, Susan, you could. 
you could. It wouldn't be. It wouldn't be like I would say when like a heavy denim or a twill for a uh, child or a, a, what do we cotton canvas. But it would do. But it would be quite soft. It would be very very delicate. It wouldn't be a hard wearing one. Uh, good questions. Half the stock of the printed denim's gone. Well done. Catching up on checkout now. Fiona, you should have made Hannah a dress. She would have felt really special. She wouldn't. She'd have hated it. She's very... Hannah's the most... I don't mean this rudely about Hannah, but she's very particular about what she wears. And sometimes she looks like she's just thrown, thrown it together. But you can't buy Hannah clothes. She's one of those people you can't buy her clothes because she... You can't guess also what she's going to like and what she's not going to like. So, like, somebody wanted to buy her a, a sweatshirt for Christmas, and I went, don't, because she won't wear it. If she decides she doesn't like it, chances are 10% she'll like it, 90% she won't. She likes to be what she likes of things, so it's easier not to buy her anyway. I bet you look brilliant, John, a free spirit. We lose that as we get older. No, Margaret, I'll still do it. I'll still do it now. Uh, right, OK, so now I'm moving on to... Um, uh, uh, Flower sketches, it's called this one. Flower sketches. This is nice, isn't it? Seventeen ninety nine. It's not white. It's definitely, definitely not. Well, you can see, look, that the selvage is white. That's cream. Yeah. Does it look the same on your telly? Oh no, no. This it's knit cat. Yeah. That's white there. That's definitely cream. There you go. There you go. Gorgeous, lovely, beautiful. Two and a half metres. How wide is this one? Uh, oh, I think this one's 44 inches wide. I'll just double check. It'd be quicker if I... Oh. Oh. I pulled my tape measure too quickly. Yeah, 44 inches wide. I just pulled my tape measure out of my trolley and it brought everything with it. It's 100% cotton. Beautiful, lovely, 44 inches wide. Uh, now, two and a half metres might, and 44 wide wouldn't be, would have, only make a little short mini dress. Yeah, you're thinking of Alice now. Beautiful. Now, I've got, now this fabric to me looks like Liberty, but I don't think it is. I think it's Essence of Liberty, this one. It's Rose and Hubble, this one. Cotton Poplin, this one. Beautiful. Yeah, yesterday I did a sneeze and I said, Charlie, did you take my mic out? And he went, yes, I did. People messaging going, he didn't, John, we heard you sneeze. Naughty boy. Right, so let's see how wide this is. Beautiful. 44 inches wide, after all that. I love this. Look at that. Beautiful, isn't it? Again, it's two and a half metres. Enough for a lady's blouse. Oh, yeah, it might fit you, Ben. Beautiful. Oh, I Hannah's getting nervous. We should be queuing up at the side of the stage now, wouldn't you? Is that how they do it these days? Or just sit in the audience and wait for, wait for yours to... Where is it? I can't remember where she said it was. In the cathedral or somewhere like that, isn't it? Or town hall. You up? 17, well, they're all this week, aren't they? Different courses are different days this week. What are you looking up? No, can we see it live? Oh, What? Yeah, if they've charged for tickets, then maybe they'll charge you to watch it live. Oh, see Anna stumbling across the stage. Right, that's beautiful. Now I've got a navy blue floral one. 
Two, this is the last of my two and a half metre bundles, by the way. Well, I'm only halfway through the hour. Seventeen ninety nine. You've got cotton poplin, navy floral at two and a half meters for seventeen ninety nine. Now, is it funny? Yes, was it yesterday? No, three days ago, green was the favourite colour. Today, it's blue. Five of these left now. You are getting two and a half meters. Beautiful cotton poplin. Actually, the pattern's not dissimilar to the pattern on my shirt. I've only, got, I've only got blue and white, obviously, but it's the same kind of pattern. Look. Right, now there are now more of these in baskets and we've got stock of. Check out, check out, check out. It's up to you. Gorgeous. I wonder what they called it. Oh, have you got a name? Oh, no, just that navy floral. Beautiful. Cotton poplin's a lighter weight. The GSM's not as heavy as the... It's heavier than lawn, but not as heavy as our quilting cotton. Okay, three, four people, too many, want this. Check out, check out, check out. Oh, hang on, that must be... I've got a bag here, Kat, and I'm not sure if it's that one or... Sorry. At uh, seventeen ninety nine. Okay, actually, it might be this one because there's, there's no bag in that one yet. Uh, morning, John. Just bought two of the two and a half meter cotton fabrics. Lovely for some spring flowers. Yes, Carol will be. Spring is on its way. We only just hit winter, but spring is on its way. Oh, you saw the. Uh, oh no, no, you want to know that person? It's what sorry. 60 days till the sun is 7 o'clock. 60 days. That's two months. There's that, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, there was, uh, uh, another friend of mine put something up going, at this date it will be this time, this date will be this time. It's like, <laughs> oh, right. There's one left, one of that bunt left. Calico bolt, he has got the calico bolt, so I just need it. Calico bolt, most affordable way of buying your half metres of calico. There are 25 metres on here, thank you. You're saving £24.50, it's 60 inches wide. Uh, it's twice this width, right, twice that width wide. £124.99, £24.50 off. And it's split pay, no interest, two-way split pay, we... Do not charge you for split pay. Oh, I woke myself. My bad breath woke me up in the night. I woke up thinking, what's that awful smell? It must be Luther. And I was like, oh, no, it's my bad breath. 124.99. You need to get some echina force or whatever it's called. Yeah, it's like echinacea, powerful echinacea. Broke my New Year's resolution when the floral denim jumped in my basket. Lovely for a summer dress. Whoops. Sharon! Sharon! I know. Your New Year's resolution was not to buy any more fabric. It looked lovely. It looked lovely. Okay, loads of these in baskets. Check out, check out, check out. Remember we had the Helen Rianne on book earlier where she made all her twirls as the calico. 124.99. Have it in your stash, have it in your workroom, so it's there whenever you need it. Take advantage of the split pay, because we do not charge for split pay. 124.99. Gorgeous. I love calico. I'll keep that here. I'll keep, keep that next to me. Okay, now... Um, I've got Liberty X Ride, and I know you're thinking, why have you got X Ride in a dressmaking hour? It's because it's really, really beautiful quality. And if you think about it, the width is 108 inches, which is twice as wide, two and a half times as wide, as our normal Liberty fabric. Normal Liberty fabric is £8.49 £8 for half a metre. 
So now this is such a good buy, you don't have to buy as much of it, do you? Right, so, which one first? Oh, the top one, right. Gorgeous Cosmos Park. Now, what you need to do, this is printed on the sh shores of Lake Kimo... No, get that right, not Kimono. Shore, in a factory on the shores of Lake Como in Italy, it's printed on, screen printed onto Lazenby cotton, and it's 17 99 for half a metre. Now, be aware the print is bigger than if you buy the 44 inch wide. So have a look at this. The print is bigger. Let me hold it up for you. See, the print is bigger. Make a lovely shirt, but it just in case you're petite and you're thinking, oh, that make a lovely dress because I love Liberty Prints, right? It is bigger. It's not ditzy. It's a really, it's beautiful. I'm not trying to put you off at all. It's a beautiful. Uh, no, hang, hang on, is this by the half metre? Yeah, it's a bit difficult to drape because it's so wide. That's the problem. It's all right. No, because it's only half a metre, you see. So you can only... Uh, if it's the right way up, I can only drape it like this sort of thing. <laughs> no. no. Hang on, let's just do this one. Little mini dress? No, that looks awful. Let me, I'll drape it the other way, the wrong way, but it's because it's, it's only half a metre. Well, no, because this is how you start creations off, is just by getting fabric and put it on the quilt. Beautiful, though, isn't it? So I just want you to see the size of it. So let's do a cowl neck top, then, shall we? Hang on, the bias. Right. So just look at this bit here. Beautiful, look at that. Now... Beautiful 19, late 40s, early 50s dress. Would look beautiful in that, wouldn't it? So that's a bit big, that cow, but you know what I mean. Or a boat neck, do a little boat neck top. Little cocktail dress, that'd be lovely as a little cocktail dress as well, wouldn't it? It is beautiful. But like now, the other thing I was going to say about this, I know in dressmaking fabrics, but... This is a, a, a 107 inches wide, this, right? How, how wide is your bed? It's not 107 inches, is it? You could make a duvet cover out of this. Now, you could go to the Liberty website and look how much they charge for duvet covers there and um, work out price per... Because you'd only need your two metres... I'd have to work it out totally, but do you know what I mean? Um, you'd, you'd only buy about six units, wouldn't you? Is that right? One, two, three, four, five, six... Uh, six units, £120. But look how much you can pay for a set, like a duvet and two pillowcase pieces. So, oh, that's a, that's a cheap one. Oh, in the sale, in the sale, £316 in Liberty. Well, it's 3 95 but there are some there, because I saw it when I was in there, that's 4 50 4 99 I know. Anyway, we cut this to order. It's by the half metre, remember? Seventeen ninety nine traditional, beautiful. So that's that one. We've also got that in the red. Oh, sorry. Vintage red. This one. Message. Morning, guys. Is the calico thick enough for cushion backs? Jan, yes. Jan, yes. I'd say it was definitely, definitely. 17, 19, and you can dye it as well, Jan. You could dye it to match your cushions if you wanted to. Dye, it takes dye beautifully. Anyway, 17, 99 for half a metre, this one. Cut off the bolt for you, that's just your half a metre there. 107 inches wide. Then we've got, this is lovely. Now... When we, it wasn't this one, but when I did Seven Brides for Seven Brothers, the national tour, the international tour, um, we made all the dresses out of Liberty Fabric, right? And this was definitely one of them. Definitely. We didn't have extra wide back then when we did that. It was just your regular. But uh, really, really got, well, uh, yeah, they're, they're simpler times. Girls living in the middle of nowhere wearing Liberty, of course. Seventeen ninety nine. They were gorgeous costumes. They were. 
What on earth are you talking about? Seven brides is like period, like 1800s. Karen says, morning, John. When I went to Liberty, they wanted £30 for a hair scrunchie. Indeed, Karen. And so they would. You have to go to the tea rooms. When you're in Liberty, the tea room's delicious. Oh, Ben's never been to Liberty's. 17, 19, smaller now than it was. Oh, no, it's still, it's still substantial. And then the Paula Pryke, um, fas- um, not fashion, um, flowers on the side door in Argyle Street are beautiful. Yeah. No, no, there's little... Mm. Now, no, because there's, there's a Liberty in Bangkok, I think, isn't there? I think so. I'm not sure. There's definitely... Um, uh, what's this? Not pop-ups, but what they call it... Um, Concessions, yeah, concessions in some stores, but Liberty London is the pinnacle. 17, 19, oh, wouldn't go now, they've got the sale on. Because it, it gets very, very crowded in the sale. Lovely. Then, of course, because uh, it's not just fabrics. There's furniture, there's clothes, there's jewellery, there's food, there's all sorts of things in there. Gifts, creaky floors... Peacock dancing green. Seventeen ninety nine. What, what are they saying? Who is? Oh, Ben's doing a big peacock dance apparently in the gallery. Oh yeah. Have you got your tail feathers up? Seventeen ninety nine. Beautiful. Keep going through for that one. Keep going through for that one. And then I've got that one in the peacock dance in the blue. Have the peacock dance. There we go. This is uh, Ben's favourite. Seventeen ninety nine. Oh, there's a peacock called Percy that lives in Ben's parents' village. Uh, Pretty Helen and Generator Jeff have got peacocks in their garden, and they climb the trees. They're like brilliant guard dogs. If anyone dro- walks down the drive, they make the most horrendous noise. Uh, if you go to Rithin Castle, there's hundreds of them in Rithin Castle, and white ones, pure white ones. Um, and then there's some, um, they're quite aggressive though, I believe. They're quite territorial. Yeah, yeah. Or message. Good morning. Oh, may I ask what happens to costumes, John, after filming? Just curious. From now, I also remember is this Jelena or is it Helena? Um, with a Spanish J. Um, it depends. It depends. So on a big film, like a Bond film, one of everything goes into storage, into the archives. Um, but a lot of them are, uh, when you rent costumes, they have to go back to the costume hire company. In the old days, like at the, uh, when we finished. Um, Notting Hill, for example, Julie Roberts gets one of everything that she wore. Because obviously you have doubles. When you have a big star, you don't just have one of everything. You have doubles of absolutely everything. So she, um, she had one of everything. And then my sister, the one that doesn't talk to me, she got Julie Roberts' uh, dress, Julie Roberts' glasses, Julie Roberts' hat and Julie Roberts' dress. I just took them and gave them to her. Um, and then you'd have a sale at the end of the thing and anyone in the crew could come in. And so Francesca, my friend Francesca came in and bought a really beautiful bias cut Devore gown in an orange and brown. And uh, yeah, that's what you used to do. But you can't do that anymore. You, and you can't give them to actors anymore because it goes against their tax or something like that. I don't really understand it. But a lot of uh, now, it's because it's a business. Like on some films, you have to say, oh, you've bought 300 pairs of socks during this film. Where are the 300 pairs of socks? And stuntmen we used to be dreadful because they'd go home in their socks all the time. You have to buy more all the time and everything. And, um, and you have to supply their pants and they go, where are all these pants? And you're like, oh, as if they'd want them. Anyway, where am I going next? William Morris Viscose. Two of them. Oh, yeah, I found it. Found it in there. Right, so I've got Golden Lily first. Six forty nine. So this is viscose, made to feel like lawn, like a, like a, mm, a bit slightly heavier than a lawn. 
It's basically, viscose is a man-made fibre, right? Using, but it uses natural products like wood and um, uh, what else is in viscose? Come on, John. Cotton plants and things like that. So they can, but they can make viscose into like linen look, canvas look, cotton look, lawn look. They can make it into whatever, whatever weight they want to and whatever, whatever. And the colours are mixed uh, now, uh, hang on, this will be printed, this is printed, but when they make a solid colour, it's mixed while it's still a liquid. So, obviously, po uh, polyester fabrics and, and viscous fabrics are liquid that then, that then turns into fabric and they dye, they dye it while it's a liquid. Yes, yeah. Do you keep in touch with any of the big stars you dealt with? Not so much. Um, Jackie Collins and I used to um, text all the time uh, and, I, and she used to say every time she brought out a book, she'd send me one of her new books and everything. Uh, big stars uh, from the films. Uh, Christine Scott Thomas sends me the odd message. Uh, Pierce Brosnan sends me the odd message. Hugh Grant, if I bump into Hugh Grant, he always says hello. He doesn't send me messages, but he always says hello. So, yeah, so, but I don't keep it. I, the thing is, when I, it's like um, Daniel, my friend Daniel was saying, oh, get lots of pictures of you and the stars. It wasn't the done thing to go up to them on set and go, oh, should we have our picture taken? Because you're working with them and you, uh, as a manager, as a costume supervisor, you have that kind of, you have to, uh, what's, uh, uh, the gravitas of it, the gravitas of it is basically, yeah. So anyway, there you go. I've got some pictures with people, but no. Ben would not have a picture of me with me, you see. Right, Strawberry Thief now in the viscose. Oh, stop it. By the calendar. £6.49. That's, I love Strawberry Thief. That'd make a lovely blouse. Oh, £6.49. It is a beautiful way. It's very drapey, this one. It's lovely, look. Well, you could. Briscoe's is breathable. So viscose is better to wear than silk. In summer, viscose is better to wear than silk because silk makes you sweat. Viscose won't. £6.49. But they're always... They're always um, uh, also, also, now, I don't know if this is 100% because silk isn't vegan-friendly. Whereas I think viscose is. Yeah, because they don't, they only use things like cotton and wood and things like that. They don't use. Yeah, but no, no, because the silkworm, you have to kill the silkworm to get the silk out. You see? And also, I don't understand why. M my niece Alex is a vegan, right? Why won't she eat honey? Because you know, but you're not hurting the bees, are you taking the honey? Oh, do they? But th even when they do it naturally. If you grew it in your own hive at the end of the garden. Anyway. Well, anyway, she won't have honey in her. Right, so now I've got this... I um, don't know what this one is. It's a viscose, but... Oh, look, it's like flowers. I can see them now. I couldn't see them before. Five ninety nine. That's lovely, isn't it? Look at that one. Five ninety nine for half a meter. This one, navy floral, digitally printed viscose fabric. That's lovely. That feels beautiful. It feels like a really expensive lawn. That one, painterly effect. The scale of the flowers, beautiful. I live in Gloucestershire and often see royals and celebrities, but we just accept them without going overboard. Right, Fiona, if you live in near Chipping Norton, you'll see Amanda uh, Holden and Jeremy Clarkson. And who else is up there with those? Right, now I've got some lime green. Now it's linen look cotton. Oh, I like that colour, but don't wear that next, don't wear that next to your skin. Linen, look, it's not shutters. It's definitely not shutters. That's lime. It's 3 99 for half a metre. Is it 100% cotton then, please? Three ninety nine for half a metre. Linen, look, cotton. 
44 inches wide. It's got that lovely slub in it as well. Slub. 100% cotton. It's good. It's good price that, 3 99 Lovely. Handkerchiefs. Oh, from the website, it's good for hankies. I wouldn't want to blow my nose on that. Don't mean it rudely, but anyway, gorgeous. Then we've got, is that the same in like a magenta then or a claret or something? Yes, it is, look. Wine. 100% cotton, made to look like linen. It's too fruity. Oh, mind you, wine's made of fruit, isn't it? Oh, maybe a sangria. Ten for uh, uh, ten forty eight. That's the time. So three ninety nine. Oh, so she not sent a picture yet? Then keep an eye out for Hannah sending a picture in. Did you say the calico sold out? But no, the half meter. Yeah, half meter's gone. Yeah. Now, I've got some jerseys here now. These are digitally printed ones. This one is anyway. Here you go. Limited, limited, limited. Eight, nine, nine. Terry backed jersey. <laughs> I'm going to call it multi splodge. So it's got lovely, soft, um, lovely against the skin. If you're going to make a T-shirt or sweat sweatshirt. Terry Towling. Don't know what Terry Towling is. Oh, Terry Towel is like a, nappies, what you make nappies out of. But it's got that soft interlocked uh, inside to it there. Next, it's backed. So it's jersey with the Terry Toweling on the back of it. Be careful with that one. Very, very limited. Very limited. Then I've got the Love Hut. Now, I seem to remember we made Fiona Hesford's pyjamas out of this one. Hearts. Six ninety nine. Oh, sorry. Uh, uh, Chipping Norton's Oxfordshire, apparently North Cotswolds, as we are heart of the Cotswolds. But they could, don't they? Surely they call some of Oxfordshire the Cotswolds. If you watch um, Escape to the Country, they call it there. Maybe that's just to put the prices up, isn't it? You see, because I'm not in the Cotswolds, but Dulcie is. So if my house was two miles down the road in the Cotswolds, it would have been oh, way over a million pounds now, way over a million. Not only do I now, they now say wine like you do, I found my daughters are doing it too. Oh, well, it's Nana, Nana Kate, you see. Nana Kate. It almost is. Say it again? No. We, no, we have one. We have one. No, no, they went down. Anyway, look. No, they didn't go down, but they didn't, you know. Avalana, Jersey. No, it's not yellow. Not yellow. It's orange, isn't it? It's gorgeous. They're 7 99 for half a metre. I think we've had this one for a long, long time, and I think that's why it hasn't sold, because the description says yellow, but it's definitely orange. E Four ninety nine. Don't tell anyone. Do not tell anyone. At four ninety nine, half a meter. It's wide. Oh look, oh, it's got a lovely, lovely t-shirt stretch to it. This one, look. Or leggings, nice leggings. Mind you, I'd be careful with leggings because you don't want those going around your bottom like that, do you? Four ninety nine, half a meter. Price will go back up at midnight as it was a crash. Right then, we got some Avalana. Oh, now it might not be Avalana, actually. Gold. Hang on. No, hang on. What's the code? Yeah, this is the Avalana jersey in gold. That's a different one, that one. Yeah. This, that one feels like Avalana on one side, but it's got fluffy on the other side, whereas Avalana doesn't. Five ninety nine Avalana jersey in gold. I 
Avalon is the brand name, I think. Beautiful. It's lovely and soft, though, look. Gorgeous. Now, then the other one I've got feels like Avalana on one side, but it's fluffy and good. That would be gorgeous as a T-shirt. Soft touch jersey, six ninety nine. You can see why, can't you? Beautiful. Six ninety nine. Ochre. It's not okra. That's spelt differently. Depends how it's cooked, Okka. My friend Tarine makes it. She um, uh, does a Persian. She's Persian. And she um, makes Okra in this tomato sauce. Don't like it. Don't like it. Right. Then I've got... Uh, this must be Avalana then again. Yeah, Avalana in Salmony. Don't know what colour they'll have called this one. Oh, it's called Spandex. It's Avalana, but... Coral cotton spandex jersey. So what's the, um, have you got the um, percentage of what and what? What colour have they called it? Oh, oh coral, coral, yeah. 5% spandex, 95% cotton. Lovely. Nice for the gym. Now I've got some linens. Stone wash linens, these are. Now, you'll have seen, we've had these fit since day dot, this design. We buy it, keep buying it back because we made denim jackets out of it. We made, um, Rebecca made a coat out of it last week, didn't she? So I've got the, um, oh, is that cream? I would have called that oatmeal. 5 99 for half a metre. John, regarding vegans and silk, apparently you can get peace silk, which is ethically produced. And the silkworms mature to fully fledged moths. Oh, a tractor. I didn't know that. I bet that silk costs a fortune. Five ninety nine. Beautiful. So they've called that one cream. Then I've got a very soft pepperminty colour. Uh, it'll be aqua because I imagine that's teal. Aqua. Beautiful, five ninety nine. Then I've got the teal, as I just showed you. Beautiful, teal, five ninety nine for half a meter. Stone washed linen. Oh, it's a blend. It's a blend. So there must be other something else in it. Oh, a tractor says, I've never bought any, but apparently it's only a little more expensive. Oh, I'm going to look into that tractor. Not that I need to buy silk anymore. When I was doing wedding dresses, I need to buy loads of silk. But I would always buy Dupion if I could, because I loved working in Dupion silk. Oh, so, so it has got linen in it, 35% linen, 65% viscose. So they'll have made the viscose to be light linen, but that means it's very, very breathable, this one. Machine wash at 30 degrees. Now I've got, uh, now, I don't want to call it brown because it's more like an aubergine or a mulberry, but we most probably called it brown. Grey? It's definitely not dark grey, but we called it dark grey. It's like a lovely warm aubergine colour, this one. A barbecued aubergine. I must have done, but I don't think, remember. I don't remember looking at the colour. Oh, I'm f filming for Rose's um, Bear Wood Bites. And she, yeah, and she wants me to go and do a. Um, yes. No, I know, that's what I tried to tell her. No, I'm not, I'm, I'm changing it. I want to I wanna go to a posh coffee shop instead. No, she's already done a lot of them, hasn't she? It has to be a new one. Lavender, it'll be this one. In Bearwood. She only does Bearwood, doesn't she? Well, it's called Bearwood Bites, isn't it? So. Beautiful. Rosie. And then we've got the lovely soft pink.
Is that the one that Hannah loves? Okay, five ninety nine. Still no picture from Hannah. She'll have forgotten. She'll be so hyped up. Oh, it's still going on because Kat, have you seen Hannah walk across yet? Oh, uh, well, maybe she has, we don't know if she was at half past ten, do we? But she will be, but maybe she hasn't walked yet. Maybe she's, um, because there are only like four people on her course, weren't they? So they'll fit in between other people's big courses. So there'll be hundreds of people from other courses, won't there? Oh, one more mention of Calico Bolt. Well, no, it's, cuff, it's cuffing, that's all that is. Ah! £124.99, uh, you're saving £24.50. Nearly half the stock has gone, £124.99. Get it on split pay. Two ways, but now it could sell out. It is, could sell out today. £124.99, split pay, no interest charge. We do not charge for split pay. We are, have 0% interest. £124.99. Well done. Right, don't go anywhere. Susie's back up after break doing a block keeper with five different blocks. Uh, I'll see you in five minutes from now. Did you know that we can deliver to over 20 different countries worldwide, spanning four continents from the UK to Australia? Check out our website for the list of countries and delivery costs. Sewing Street, stitching the world together. Did you know at Sewing Street that on various products we offer split pay? That means on certain items you can spread the cost over two, three, four or sometimes even five interest-free monthly payments. Just pay the first instalment when you purchase and you're away. So shop your way with Split Pay. Shopping with Sewing Street couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.sewingstreet.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your sewing room essentials to fabrics, sewing machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Sewing Street app. Simply head over to your app store and search Sewing Street. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Every day, our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects and we feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to sewing or a seasoned pro, you're sure to learn something new. We're live every day from 8am till 1pm and you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Are you having trouble finding the ideal gift for that someone special? Then why not treat them to a Sewing Street gift card? Simply head over to the website and scroll down to the bottom of the page and click where it says gift cards. You can decide between posting the card or delivery by email, then decide the value that you would like to send. Whether it's for a birthday, a special occasion, or just a way to say thank you, the Sewing Street gift card is the perfect answer. Did you know at Sewing Street that on various products we offer split pay? That means on certain items, you can spread the cost over two, three, four, or sometimes even five interest-free monthly payments. Just pay the first instalment when you purchase and you're away. So shop your way with Split Pay. Shopping with Sewing Street couldn't be easier. 
You can shop via our website at www.sewingstreet.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your sewing room essentials to fabrics, sewing machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Sewing Street app. Simply head over to your app store and search Sewing Street. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Did you know that we can deliver to over 20 different countries worldwide, spanning four continents from the UK to Australia? Check out our website for the list of countries and delivery costs. Sewing Street, stitching the world together. Here at Sewing Street, we only charge one P&P throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard P&P is £3.95. Charges may differ for outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option for £5.95 on certain items. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Are you having trouble finding the ideal gift for that someone special? Then why not treat them to a Sewing Street gift card? Simply head over to the website and scroll down to the bottom of the page and click where it says gift cards. You can decide between posting the card or delivery by email, then decide the value that you would like to send. Whether it's for a birthday, a special occasion, or just a way to say thank you, the Sewing Street gift card is the perfect answer. Shopping with Sewing Street couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.sewingstreet.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your sewing room essentials to fabrics, sewing machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Sewing Street app. Simply head over to your app store and search Sewing Street. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Uh, Susie's back and we're making a block... Keeper. Keeper. A block keeper. Are you on a block today? Oh, no. No. You look very tall, suddenly. Right. So what it is, is in the pattern, you get five different blocks that you can choose from. But you get all five of those as, as a, as a go-to pattern in the future. You only need two of them. In the, Susie's done this one. And she's done this one. Now, she's done them in order of getting more difficult. No, that's not. I've made that sound wrong, haven't I? Yeah. Increasing have difficulties. Increasing difficulties. Increasing skill sets. Yes. So... What we have is we have a bundle of three different colours, right? So the first one is this pink one that Susie's used to make it with. What you get in your bundle is you get the instructions. Now, look, there are th three, five blocks in here. One, two, three, four, five. Starting with the most simple and working up to the most complicated. So the most simple is that one. Then we've got that one. Thank you. Now, the, I'm going to show you this in a different colourway to what we've, we've got today, but that's that one there. No, that's no, it's not. That's the one with the squares in the corner. Is it the reverse of that one you've got in your hand, John? No. Oh, perhaps I didn't do you know, that. Oh, she's not made that one. Then we've got that I'm one. I'm going to make it now. Which has got the pointy bits on it in the square. No. No, that is, no some of them, you see. I so, some of them she's not made. I'll tell you where they are. That one? They're on my other one at home. Here no, it's go. not that one. It's not that one. Uh, then we've got this one, which is here. Yeah, there's several. And then we've got that one, which is your flying geese that you had and there. And ago. on the reverse, yeah. And on the reverse. Oh, no, not on the reverse, that one. No, that's the one I'm going to do. Demo. Not that one. 
one. Is it that one? Yeah, and that one what? And turn yours around, Kat. Yeah, there you go. There you go, and there it is in blue. Oh, my word, that was difficult, wasn't it? It's so you get all five patterns. What basically, what was it? <laughs> you get five block patterns in there, and this is the fabric you need. So that's your wadding to make your pages inside your block keeper. And then here, you've got... Uh, 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 fat, oh, they're fat quarters. Yes. One, two, three, four fat quarters, and half a metre of the cream. So that's your main colour, and there are... That's Liberté... Pink, twenty nine ninety nine plus half a meter of your wadding, and your instructions. Obviously, twenty nine ninety nine. We also have it in more than half a meter of wadding. Sorry, more than half a meter of wadding. Well, no, it'd be the extra wide, won't it? The wadding. Oh, did I get sent? Yeah. Look, it's half a meter, oh, yeah. but it's like yeah, this okay. wide. I got sent the normal one. That's why. Oh, okay. okay. That's even better. Yeah, so you get plenty of wadding, plenty of wadding. Right, so that's the pink one, at least. Stand up. Then we've got the blue one. Thank you. Then we, this is my favourite, I have to say, the blue one. The blue is lovely. Uh, blue, pink and neck and neck at the moment. So you get your instructions, you get your wadding, you get your, and then you get your half a metre of your blue and fat quarters of your Liberty Sh Wiltshire Shadow. I can't remember what those are called. What's that one called, Susie? What's that one called? Sorry, that's Cat um, making all that noise. The big print, isn't that on Madsy's Blossom? I don't, because it'll be a fat quarter yeah. that I've cut it out. I might not necessarily have, I haven't got no. the side with the name on. Yeah, it's there. Okay, like and then we've got the, anyway, that's your Liberty Blue one. So you get your, your navy blue is your background, then your four fat quarters, your instructions, and your wadding, 29 99 Then, You've got your, um, now what colour would you call this one? I would say, I'm going to go Satsu. Oh, that, yeah. Peach and. Well, it's sort of. Salmons. Russets, is Rustic. It? Scandi. I'm, I'm going to say sunset colours. Oh, okay. You've got I would say, uh, what's that caramel you put in your ice cream? You know, your caramel squidge it on the syrup on the top of your ice cream. I don't know. Twenty nine ninety nine. Twenty nine ninety nine. You do get the wadding as well, obviously. <laughs> now, I've got the pattern on its own. Pattern on its own. Now remember that and Susie's last time, the pattern on its own flew out. This one's flying out as well. Beautiful. At $9.99. So you, now this is really good because for nine ninety nine. You get five different patterns. Not only the pattern to make the block keeper, but five different block patterns. You can make a sample, a quilt, or anything with that if you wanted to. Mm. Uh, so it's nine ninety nine. The instruction and the instructions on their own. Now um, I'll wait until you start using tools, and I'll butt in with okay. the graphics yeah. so you can get on with your demo and yeah. everything. Okay, so I have got some more of Susie's patterns in this out, and I've got rulers that she's about to use. Did the best presses not arrive? OK. Sorry, Susie, we're going to get you all the different flavours of Best Press. And nobody's... Where's Roy? I haven't seen Roy for weeks. I was anyway. looking forward to that. Could I borrow the white and blue one yet? This one? Yeah, because... Uh, I'll pass them well, all doesn't matter yeah. which one. I just thought I'd sh explain what a block keeper was. Right. <laughs> um, so when you're um, starting on a, a project, a quilting project, the chance of you making all the blocks for your quilt on day one are pretty minimal. Right. Um, unless you're on a tight deadline like I usually am. Hmm. Then, so having somewhere to store them flat yeah. without issue is quite useful, and that's where my block keepers come into action. So they hold your blocks from your projects that you're doing, and because they've got wadding pages, the pa they stick to it, so they don't go anywhere. So this is one that I'm partway through. Put your hand on the iron. Yeah. I managed to burn myself with coffee yesterday. You did what? Coffee. And we, we cafetiere coffee. Yeah. And our cafetiere, every so often, the suction... Oh, no. ...just yeah. grabs. And so when you plun push the plunger, it, it goes out, out yeah. Spout. And I, I, yeah, just, it went straight up the sleeve. Oh, no. And, of course, then you can't get it out. Get it out, out. no. So I'm trying. I'm standing like this, wafting coffee oh. and burnt all up the inside of my arm. Never mind. 
Ben did the same on the tap in the kitchen this morning. It's so easy to do. Oh, was it so yesterday? I thought it was this morning. If you have orphan blocks as well, so an orphan block is one way it's just a one-off or you've got them left. So these right. are orphan blocks that I've made. Right. And I just keep them in here so that when I've got time, ha, ha. I can put them together or use them or look back at them and think, oh, yeah, that was a good one. So and um, awesome. do you know what's in there in case, in case you want it in the future? Yes. I mean, I know because I know that this one... This particular quilt block is my licorice all sorts, as I call it. Okay. And then I've got another one that's Liberty. I've got another one that's the one that the pro a project I'm working on. So I I know them, but then you could <coughs> put a label, you know, just um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cut a label and cut a label with your Cricut machine that we had yesterday. I do, yeah. Or even better with your Cricut machine, why don't you cut iron on vinyl? Yeah. Label to say what it is and iron it on to your crown. Oh, yeah, it's very good. You could even you might put change it on the minds. spine like a book. Well, then you can always peel off. Can you? Or if you reference it, rather than say it's... Oh, yes. Put, quilt, you know, cross-eyed yeah, yeah. quilt or whatever, yeah. you could just say it's um, book one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you've got a list of what goes into book one. So, yeah, so this one is just all my orphan quilts of um, Liberty in the bygone years. Right, yeah. But it's a really useful thing to have. Yeah. If you don't want a block keeper, they will make cushions. So that. Oh yeah, no, no. The, the blocks are just good to have as patterns. Absolutely. Yeah, exactly. So I'm going to put those out of the way for a minute. So the first thing you need to decide, because to make the block keeper, you need only two complete blocks. You don't need all five. Right. And the fabric that we've given you in the bundle will only make your two. Oh, okay. You will have some left over depending on what you choose. But I can make any two, even if I pick the two most difficult ones, is there still enough fabric to make the two most difficult ones? Yes, because that's what I'm doing now. Okay. Yeah, and I've still got fabric left over. Perfect. Um, in fact, I haven't touched one of the fabric. Oh, okay. So I'm, I'm doing quite well. Yeah. Um, what I will... Oh, I forgot to bring it What have you forgotten? Oh, my bag. <laughs> I'm used Cat. To <laughs> Sorry, I forgot the pink bag. <laughs> What's in the pink bag? Oh, all sorts. It's my Mary Poppins bag. Oh, OK. So um, I was just going to show you the basic one first. So if you're going to start... If you're new or you've never tackled a rail fence block, uh, um, that's a good way to start. And you just need strips of fabric... And you sew them together, long side together. Can we see the picture, Bruce? Thank you. It's this one here. Yeah. Um, long sides together. And then you subcut those strips once you've pressed them into square, um, set square, a, a set um, size. Do you want so to start again? No, Hello, I've got Susie one. here. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, carry on. Um, and then you'll you can create different effects. Yeah. And depending upon which fabric, that's the one that's in front of John, but depending on which fabrics you put in the middle, yeah. you get a completely different look. So with the block, when I was creating that one, I chose to put Snowdrop in the centre. Here we go. But I could actually, if I, I tried spinning it round and having this one in the centre but it all seemed to just disappear uh -huh. because of that. So it's quite good fun to experiment. Thank you. <laughs> Star. I should just delve in my Mary Poppins bag. How many of those have you got, though? What, Mary Poppins yeah. bag? Well, this is my Sewing Street Mary Poppins okay. bag, but um, I have numerous Mary Poppins bags. And it's not... Oh, is it here. not in there, whatever you're looking for? There it is. That's what I'm looking for. So you can see how much I've got left over. Oh, doing, wow. This is how much is left of yeah. my block keeper fabric. Um, not so much of the plain because that's what I've used all the way through. So this is what you will end up with your strip. And then you just subcut that down. Right. Now you can do that with your stripology. Mm -hmm. You can do it with a normal quilting ruler. But as long as you don't go by an edge, go by a seam as your straight line up. Yeah. So that's that one. When you come, if you then want to progress to the next one, I would suggest you yeah. go for Brickyard Arrow, I've called it. Right. It's a Brickyard 
But this is a really clever one to get under your belt to do for other things. Um, this time, you're only going to sew your strips together in pairs. Right. And they need you need two lots of each pair, if that makes sense. Right. And then what you're going to do is place opposite pairs right sides together so you'll end up with them looking like this so i've got the wiltshire shadow pink and oh, okay the, the opposite pink, way around yeah and i've got the snowdrop and the floral one uh-huh um tudor rose if you you want to make sure that that mid those middle seams are aligned that's the important thing so right. press really well and then you're going to stitch down the long sides again. Right. So they're now opposite. And then this is where that clever little ruler... Oh, yeah. I'll, I'll do that now, then. This, this one here. Yeah. The multi-size six-inch flank geese and 45, 90-degree triangle. 29.99. So what are you doing with this? So then? this ruler is actually designed to make flying geese and half square triangles and quarter square triangles yeah. it's a labor saving tool but it's also really good for cutting 45 degree triangles right. you know, and 90 degree triangles so um once you've got your strip if you then place your ruler and you'll find that the four and a half inch strip line should be the right size if you're following the pattern and you've got a horizontal line you can line up on your seam. But it also gives you, because I've already cut into this, I've got a, an edge that I've cut. Yeah. So I, I'm okay. I can line everything up. And then you're just going to cut across. And this is, I th think, is really clever. Now, to, you'll need a total of four of these. So if you just spin the ruler on its head, realign everything uh-huh i'll move that out of the way so it's clearer and then i can cut that way now sadly that little bit is just a bit too short which is why you need to do two strips oh okay for, yeah um but it that's not a problem so then what we do is we go to the point end uh -huh. and we gently open the fabric you might need to have your oh yeah okay snips whatever but look, you get stripy squares, which I think is a really cool effect. For no effort, all you've done is cut straight lines, sewn straight lines. Yeah. Oh, wow. Nothing's on the bias. At no. The moment. So it makes it a really easy block to do. And then to set those, I then just press those seams out and the reason I open the seam is because when you join them you don't know which position they're going to be in but it means that they are nice and flat so that's the basics of the brickyard that's clever isn't it it is clever it's really clever and by the time you've got your four cut you can then start playing around as to what you want to happen because obviously I've chosen to do it as a chevron a, a chevron which turns out like this. Uh -huh. But I chose to have the pale pink as my predominant. The one that really pops is this one. and But then you see the others coming in behind it. Yeah. If I'd switched all those around, I could have had the snowdrop. Right, oh yeah. But you can also have an effect where you have, instead of a chevron shape, you can have a, a series of squares. But there'll be the middles will be opposite. Yeah. So you'll have your alternate sides. So you can play around with that particular block yeah. to create different styles. But the technique is a really useful one to have. What have you seen? No, nothing. I was just wondering if you turn the bottom block round. No, no the other, other, uh, like... That way? Yeah. No, no. You end up with lots of stripes. No. But it's your, it's your cushion, your Absolutely. block, you do what you, you do like with it, you can't like. you, really? Yeah, yeah. exactly. So that, they're the, the two that, if you've never done anything, they're a really good place to start. Yeah. Um, and then what I introduce you to is half square triangles. Right. Um, and that's what we're going to look at now. And for this, you can use the Creative Grids ruler, 
but the instructions I've given you are using your other tools. If you want to use this creative grids, then you don't subcut the strips you cut. You okay. follow the instructions with the ruler to cut your pieces for your flying geese. So I've gone ahead and already cut my squares that I need for this. And it does tell you how many of each sort you need in the descriptions, okay, which is handy. And then I'm going to bring in my June Taylor half right. Oh, June Taylor. I love a bit of June Taylor. June oh. Taylor, what's it called? I am, a, I am a ruler person, as you know. Half square and quarter square triangles. And it does what it says on the tin. It makes half square triangles, quarter square triangles. Yep. So I've deliberately, I've made most of them, but I've deliberately left two to make because okay, then I can talk through how this works, this ruler. So if you have a project where you've got loads of half square triangles to make or just the one, uh -huh. this is a brilliant labour saver. Right. It's absolutely fab. So on the left hand side of the ruler, you have two, a black solid line, which you line with the diagonal of your square. Either side of it are two channels that are just the right width for your friction pen. Uh -huh. So you're then going to run your friction pen along those, and they are exactly a quarter of an inch from that midline. Right. If you haven't got this ruler, don't despair. I'm just going to get some pins. Because it's always a good idea when you're doing half square triangles, because you're sewing across the bias, to just pin everything or clip and hold it in place. If you haven't got the June, uh, this ruler, yeah. first of all, please buy it because you won't regret it. You can use a conventional quilting ruler. All you do is place the quarter inch line along your diagonal and right. then you draw along the edge. Right. So you know you're a quarter away. Yeah. You then, normally I'd rotate this, but it's a bit of a big mat. You then realign, and this time I make sure that that line I've just drawn is on the half, yeah. and my quarter inch goes through my diagonal, and then I can draw in the other way. Lovely. So that's two different ways of drawing in, but all I've done is mark quarter inch either side of the diagonal. Yeah. Now I'm going to stitch those, and it's just a normal um, straight stitch down the two. There you go. And you can chain piece. And if you don't know what chain piecing is, it means you don't break between pieces. You can just keep going. And if you have got the 780, there is a feature by which in the piecing section you can program a pattern length. So I don't even have to tell it I've come to the edge of a piece. It knows. It's oh, wow. And I can continue. So if you are doing, I mean, I had a pattern that needed 72 of these. So it's quite useful. So it just stops at the end of the line? It stops when it's done the right. You have to make sure you measure it properly then. Well, no, what you do is you do one and then you set that as your pattern. Oh, wow. It's very clever. Honestly, apart from not making my tea, this is a brilliant bit of kit. So I'm just sewing down both lines, but because there's only the two, it's easier to do it like this, believe it or not. The other thing that you've up here, we're not starting on a point, so there's no problem using your a straight stitch plate because it's not going to disappear yeah. down um, but otherwise I would switch and use the and people worry about there's, there's going to be a couple of stitches that go through with nothing underneath it that doesn't wreck your machine does it absolutely not no oh don't didn't realize you're on me sorry <laughs> I'm enjoying the demo sitting here like this watching away didn't realize I was in shot a casual approach so if you haven't got I'll keep them as they were if you haven't got um, the June Taylor ruler, just go back to your conventional ruler. Make uh -huh. sure that your diagonal line of your midpoint between those stitches is um, 
on the edge of your ruler. So you've got your quarter inch on one of your stitch lines. Yeah. And then you're going to split that in half. Now, May says, John, I bought this ruler. It's fantastic. My blocks are much more accurate. I love it. Are you talk about the June Taylor, Taylor. one. Yeah. The June Taylor one. Brilliant. I, I uh, Christine says, I need this ruler, so off I pop. Oh, she's going to buy it. And no, we've not heard from Hannah yet, I'm afraid. Oh. So if you've got the Jean Taylor, you now go to the right hand side of the tool and instead of there being a solid black line in the middle, you've got a cutting slit, but you've got two dashed lines either side that are exactly a quarter. Oh, okay. Width, and those are the ones that line up with your stitching you've just done. Yeah. And that quarter inch, uh, that middle line should run through the diagonal. Yeah. So as with all the Jean Taylor and indeed Creative Grids, you've got a rotary cutter entry teardrop here so you angle your rotary cutter in and cut through so i can only cut the middle now we've got to press these out now because they're going to be mishmashed all around the design right i am going to actually press these open right um which i know is because people tend to say press to the dark side but because these are being, they're not following a set pattern. Yeah. They're, well, they are, but not a normal one. And I'm not working out who's going where. I'm also trimming down. So when you're trimming, the flatter the midline, oh, yes, the, the better. better. Yeah. So I tend to open all of my seams. More and more people are at the moment as well. Right. I've started a trend. Yeah. <laughs> The first time I did it and pressed the seams open, someone I had loads of comments on social media saying, are you sure you should be doing that? Oh. I was like, well, I don't know, but it, it works yeah. for me. So, I don't know. It's a bit more time consuming opening the seam. Yeah. I personally think it's a much nicer result. The same as all of these fabrics, I've got to say, I did treat with best press yeah. before I started. We have got, we have got the nonsense, no, non, non, the nonsense, nonsense, no scent best press today uh, in the squirty, but I don't know where all the others are. Oh, actually, but they were all on the website, weren't they? Uh, go and have a look at the pre-order. In fact, Ben will swap them over. Uh, at the end of the show, um, so you can see. But for now, go and look on pre-order, all the different flavours we've got. And we've got refill bottles as well. It's exciting. So now I want to trim these down because they all need to be a set size. And I, on this occasion, it's three and a half inches. So what the perfect square, um, perfect half square ruler centre is, is about cutting down your square and squaring off your squares. Right. Squaring off your squares. Um, you've got a, what looks like an hourglass with two 45 degree lines. Now that's what I'm lining up along that stitched line. So you can see yeah. by opening the seam, I've already got a flat surface to yeah. work on. The opposite 45 degree is going through the other diagonal. So uh -huh. if I was doing quarter square triangles where each triangle is a different yeah. thing, then I've got two seams I can line up against. Yeah. I'm going for three and a half, so this time I'm going to cut up the right side and then the left side, moving my hand as I go, lift it and move those out the way, turn the piece so that I've now got those cut edges, top and bottom, which I align with the three and a half line here. Now, if uh -huh. you're doing lots of these, one thing I would recommend is getting a post-it note, so if this was a post-it, or any sticker and just place it oh, right, either on the side line, yeah. because then you, and I do it for the cut line as well because then you're not going to make any mistakes so again I'm going to cut into the three and a half line on the left and right and then I've got a perfect three and a half inch half square triangle which makes it a super simple process so what I tend to do is stitch all my blocks yeah press them all i do it in a conveyor belt system and then i can sit with this and just square off all my blocks i missed that one ben can you go to instagram apparently there's a picture of hannah at her graduation on her instagram page oh is she graduating today I'm yeah 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 that. oh that's cool. yeah yeah because she said she was going to send one in no mcbay bait we advertise it all the time 
That's really cool. Muckbabe eight. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Not muck, you mean mac. muck. M no, MC. MC. Ah, yeah. oh, can we shout yeah. on to Cat's phone? You sure she not let you in, Ben? Oh, does she have to friend him first? Oh, look at all her hair. Can you, I'm oh, sorry, can, can I show this? Yeah. We need somebody to. Hold, oh. Put it under the overhead. Press on the picture again. Oh, there you go. There you go. Oh, I can put it on the... Sorry, yeah, do you want me to sit here? That'd be easier. There you go. Look, look, look. Quickly before the right, right leg gets to the end. Oh, that's so cool. Oh. Congratulations. Thank you. Brilliant. Oh. That's cool. She must have been up for hours this morning doing her hair, mustn't she? She'll have curly girled it last night before she went to bed. Oh, and in this weather, that's not an easy feat either, is Poor it? Poor old Steph. I bet he's had grief this morning. Has he gone with her? Oh, yeah, Steph, her mum and her dad and Steph. And was Brilliant. there one other person went as well? Which uni? Birmingham. Fab. She did an MA. She got an MA I in... I know it was an MA. Yeah. Yeah. Fab. I remember her starting it. I know. In the other building? Yeah. Yeah. Gosh. That seems eons ago. Yeah, no, not yet. <laughs> Right, so we've trimmed all those down. Yeah. I've made all the others. Right. So now what you need to do is to refer to the diagram, and it's this one we're creating. Um, so you do have to pay attention as to what goes where. Yeah. And what I do suggest is you lay your block out in front of you. Oh, yeah, definitely. Because otherwise you're going to get yourself in a pickle. I probably will anyway, but... Uh -huh. At least I've got, I've managed row one. Yay! So row two would then come along here. I don't know how we're doing for time. I won't put all this together because once I've laid it out, you can see how it's all going to come together. So that's the first two. Okay. And then we're going to repeat at the bottom here. quite an easy one to work the configuration out but it's just making sure that when you make your half square triangles you make the right combos of half square triangles uh -huh. there you go and that's what the oh is. look it's quite sweet doesn't it yeah and that's purely the the fabric pairings i chose you can with what the bundle you get, you can mix. Oh, yeah, because there's a fabric you've not touched, isn't there? There's yeah. another fabric. Yeah, the, um, there is. There's sti the orange. Stitches in orange. You yeah. haven't even touched in that no, one. No, exactly. So that's that one. Lovely. Um, the surrounded star block that I've given you in there uh -huh. is a combination of your half square triangles and your flying geese. Right. So I thought I'd show you the flying geese. Yep, please. Yep. We've got plenty of time. Well, we can always stitch one together. This one's probably a good one to stitch over. So, again, with the flying geese, the creative grids, flying geese, and um, 45, 90 degree triangle ruler will work. Right. So, instead of following my cutting instructions, you follow the instructions that you get with the ruler. Oh, right, okay. Yeah. Basically, you're going to cut the same strip, but you're going to use the ruler to cut your pieces yeah. into shape, so you cut into triangles, you'll cut your geese bit and you'll cut your skies. Um, the method I'm going to show you is the traditional method for flying geese. Okay, stop tapping, whoever's tapping in there. <laughs> Again with this one, because we're trying to aim to get a series, a, a sort of double pin one, uh -huh. you need to pay attention to the fabric combinations and orientation right um, I have put a warning about it there oh, warning <laughs> a warning so this time I'm gonna I'm not gonna use my June Taylor I'm gonna use just a conventional ruler which is buried in here somewhere how did I get it out yes I did there it is um, so I want to mark the diagonal on all of these pieces I could use the June Taylor but I just want 
the diagonal uh -huh. line. Only seven of the blue Liberty left. Gosh, it is popular. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to do that on all the pieces that I need. So these are my sky pieces. Uh huh. And on this last one, I'm going to do two marks, and I'll explain why oh, when I okay. sew it. So I'm going to mark my diagonal, and then I'm going to move the ruler so that I am half. That diagonal is now on the half inch. Right. And I'm going to draw another line, and you'll see why. Oh, second. I know why. Yeah. So I'm going to place my first piece of sky so that it's on the left-hand side of my rectangle uh -huh. with the diagonal running from top right to bottom left across the corner. And once again, I am going to pin into place, except that's the wrong way around. There uh -huh. you go. Yeah, that's get the, right the way around I wanted. I'm just going to pin that so that I can... I know it's held its position. And I'm going to do the same with this one. So you're doing all the left skies I'm first? I, yeah, I, tend, I would always work one side or another yeah. first. You choose which. It doesn't matter to the geese. But you do need to... It looks better if you've ha got them all assembled the right, you know, one way around. Yeah. And I tend to favour left than right. I don't know why, but I always have done... Um, and we're going to stitch these. So I'm going to stitch down those mark lines. Again, you can chain piece. This one, I'm going to stitch both my mark lines. So I'm just going to re-stitch that. Now, this isn't part of the pattern. This is an extra. Yeah. And it's only because, as people who know me know, I hate waste. So this is a way not to waste. Because normally what you would do is you would then place your ruler so that that diagonal is on the quarter inch line yeah. and you'd trim it back, yeah. which means that that is now waste. Yeah. By doing that extra bit of stitching... I now place the ruler again with the quarter inch line on that diagonal, uh -huh. but cut between those two, which now means I have a half square triangle I can put in my orphan blocks um, and use for something else. Mm -hmm. So it's just another way of not wasting. Brilliant. So once you've done that, you must press. You yeah. can't then do the next piece of sky without pressing. Because okay. the whole idea, and the first time I did this, I got... I unpicked, I don't know how many. Why? Because pictures always show them meeting at the point. Oh, yeah. And they're not supposed to, no. they're supposed to overlap. And honestly, I got myself in such a tiz the first time and then realised that actually the diagrams were wrong. So I followed the explanation and lo and behold, it worked. So this time I need this one on here. But this time I've got the diagonal running from top left to bottom right. Again, I'm going to hold it with a pin. And I'm not going to do the extra stitching on these because it's not great TV, is it? <coughs> <laughs> and they'll just go in that box. That I'll, I'll tell you what's good to use the orphans with, the little pieces. You know the um, quilter's grid yeah. that we do? That's really good because you can make up all of those and then just press them onto that yeah. and then just stitch them all together. Oh, wow. So, and it can be an ongoing project. Yeah. So you can just cut pieces of quilter's grid and just fill it with odds and what's it. Yeah, then when you've stuck them and a bit later down the line, you think, oh, do you want the orange one there? Well, then you just have to go with the flow, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. There are some times in life where you just have to let it be. So I'm just trimming off, leaving a seam allowance of about a quarter of an inch. You can do that with a pair of scissors. It's not essential that it's exact. No one's going to come and measure it. If they do, then they shouldn't be anywhere near exactly. you. Exactly. 
So when we finished, we end up with neat and they cross over at the point. Yeah. And the idea is that this gap here should be quarter of an inch. Uh-huh. Is the idea. Do not do anything drastic, beat yourself up or anything if it isn't, because it's not the end of the world. Yeah. It's a piece of fabric. It's going to be on a cushion, quilt, block, whatever, that's moved around. We're not perfect. Contrary to popular belief. So why should the piece of fabric be? I'm going to switch to a quarter inch foot because I want a quarter inch seam. Uh-huh. And we're going to st stitch all our blocks together. Now, all the blocks get sewn together in the same order. Right. So this time, it's an easy one to remember. You know you need the middle block. The, the one that's going to be in the middle has to go at the bottom. And you stitch them together in pairs. Right. So we're going to do that. OK, while you do that, I'll just yeah. let you know that the best presses have arrived. Yay! We have got them in new flavours, right? So we've got this one in Citrus Grove. Oh, that's a nice, refreshing, I bet. Mm? Are we allowed to smell them? Uh, no. no. Was, I tried to think there's a silver foil across the top. They should have a scratch and sniff bit. Yeah, they should be, don't they? Uh, 11 .99, this is your Citrus Grove, 499 millilitres. It's only while you press it that it smells like citrus, then it'll go away again. And because it's cut, but although it's coloured, it doesn't stain your fabric. No, no. Then we've got uh, Blossom, Cherry Blossom, which is one Stuart was using. Oh, yeah, that is nice. I've you had that one before. That's nice. 11 .99. Oh, now. What? Someone will have their guts for garters if these all go today. Mm. Yes, because I haven't got any yet. Beautiful. Then we've got um, Lavender Fields, which is the new one. No vanilla. I've got the vanilla one as well, but this is lavender on its own. It's lovely. 11 .99. We also have lavender and vanilla. They're really good just to spritz on your pillow, you know, just before you go to sleep. Oh, yeah. I just iron them when you're doing your ironing and then put them in the airing cupboard or put them in the really linen good. closet. Well, talking about linen closets, we also have linen fresh. Eleven ninety nine, linen fresh. So there are all the bottles that you used to see, the 499 millilitres with the squirty thing that comes with it, right? What I'm about to show you now are refill bottles, which don't come with the squirty thing, but it's a refill bottle, this one. Lavender Fields. Oh, that's what I need in my life. What, a refill one bottle? One of those refill bottles, yeah. Well, I get through one of the others. Now, wait till you see this. It's not quite a litre. You look, wait till you see how, look, it's... Uh, 999.59 millilitres. It's because it's an American company, so they do it in ounces, don't they? Yeah, 33.8. a quart or something. Only seven of those left. These all only arrived yesterday, and they're supposed to last us for months, these. Then we've got the linen fresh, fresh one. Refill. No squirty on this one. 21, oh, sorry, I'll move it. 21.99. And then we've got the scent free in the refill. I haven't got the scent free in the little bottle at the moment. Twenty one ninety nine. Did you change one of those prices then? The scent free is there. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I have got the scent free. Sorry, I take take that back because it was already in the sh in the hour. You already put this one in. Oh, oh Kerry, you already put this one in the hour. There's your scent free on the smaller one, eleven ninety nine. Okay. Over okay. to you, Susan. Good. What are you showing us? What am I showing you? Right, so we've made oh, oh sorry. That we've was made me. the four. So now you get to play around with the blocks and move them around. And the great thing about this pattern is there's no seam matching. <laughs> Which can be a bugbear, but that looks really cool. No, oh, that looks really yeah. nice, yeah. Yeah, really, the orange. Yeah, and the sage green in there really yeah. pops out, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. So um, we can put this together now. 
just simply by putting right sides together. I've pressed, remember to press everything before you go, trim off any dog ears, just makes it neater. And it's a quarter inch seam to join them. And you can chain piece the rope. Oh, Princess, has the June Taylor ruler sold out? Oh, Princess, I took too long to think about it. I missed out on the June Taylor rule. I hope you get them back in uh, before my pre p and code runs out at the end of the month. Oh, no, it takes us ages to get these in. Wow. Hmm. We're just checking. We're just checking now. Yeah, all sold out. Oh, no, Princess. They will get more, though, because no, no, we'll get more. I use it all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but not necessarily by the end of the month. No. You have to Ooh, buy something else. Actually, I'm just month. thinking when, what my next one is they might need it for that so they might have to do something yeah but june Taylor don't deliver that quickly they don't know but mm. i've got one at home <laughs> oh no you mean you've done your next project based on that ruler and we haven't got that ruler well i mean <gasps> i'm just trying to remember what the next one is because I, I had to do a switch <laughs> i think yeah i think one of them is cat do you want to take those back Ooh, we might have to Rethink your next project. Yeah. Never mind. Never mind. Can the best press refills yeah. be put straight into your iron? Oh, I wouldn't do that. No, no, I wouldn't ever put best press straight into your iron. No. Um, because, uh, it, well, first of all, I'm not sure what it would do to the, to the jet. Yeah, yeah. Because um, it's starch, isn't it? Cheeks. So it'll, it'll block it. Yeah. It'll block your so squirty you're, bit. It's far better to squirt it onto your fabric and allow yeah. it to soak onto your fabric yes. for a few seconds. Because if you put it directly into your iron, it's not going to have that soak time. No. And also, it won't come out as evenly as a spritz. Well, it, yeah, it, and yeah, be too. It won't be as fine a mist because mm. the whole point with best press. Is that it's a nice fine mist. Yes, yeah. It's not it doesn't clog everywhere. So I'm just aligning the seams in the center. Yeah. Because I've pressed them, they're easy to align. You can either press open or press one uh, one row one way and one row the opposite yeah. way so that they align. But don't press them all in one direction. And then we're gonna join them. then I've made my block. Fabulous. So once you've made two blocks, what yeah. you're then going to do, depending on which blocks you make, some of them need an extra border. Right. To but bring you tell them us that up to a thing. set size. Yeah, it says all this. And then you're going to choose your fabrics that are going to be on your outside. And you only add those to the top and bottom and one side of your block. And then in the middle, you stitch uh, you stitch a wider piece. Right. To join the two together. Oh yes, of course you yeah? would. Yeah. The thing to watch when you're joining them together is that they line up. The blocks align. Yeah. Uh, I know mine don't here, but I've got a wider border on this one yeah. than I did on this. They actually align up here, which is the critical point. Um, they, that means that they will then, you know, be this a rectangle. Yeah. You then want to cut your wadding. Right. And it has got a, an approximate size in the pattern, but we all sew differently. We yeah. all have a different quarter of an inch. I know that sounds mad, but honestly we do, because my machine, my one of these at home is slightly different to the one in the studio. Oh, wow, that that's is. weird. But by like a fraction. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it can make a difference. Would well, it make a difference if you've made one at home and then you make one here and then you try to match them up? That's yeah, the thing that's noticed. why I always try and use the same machine. So it doesn't matter that yours is a slightly different quarter of an inch because if you made something 
all on your machine, it would be constant. Absolutely. It's only when you're on one machine, yeah. then go to another. But I know that to, I know from having, you know, used the machines a lot, that if I move this by one notch, it's it the same matches as yours at home. mine at home. Yeah. So it's just, you, you get to know your machine, but then the other brand of machine I have is totally different again. So it, you need to make sure you know your quarter of an inch. Uh, Christine, sorry, Christine said, oh, I've got the ruler, I've got Susie Duncan's block keeper and I've got the folding caddy and the best press slab in the fields and I've got £10 off with my advent calendar voucher. Well, that's a win-win. Did you see that we showed the picture of Hannah as well? Yeah, that's fantastic. Mm. Yeah, what a, gosh, you're going to be really busy. So once you've um, put the wadding on the back, use, this is where I use my either starch savvy or 505 spray. Right. And you're just going to put that onto the Starch reverse. savvy or... Uh, no. Um, basting spray. Basting spray. Yeah, Sorry, yeah, yeah. I'm looking at it. Yeah. And I know it's basting spray and called it starch savvy. Yeah. I do apologise. But you only... So you're going to spray that onto the back of your, your blocks that you've assembled, the right. back of this, and then you're going to place your wadding on it and smooth it out. I would suggest you cut your wadding slightly bigger than you need. Right. You're then going to do any quilt stitching you want to do. Right. I haven't done humongous amounts on this. I've literally just gone round the edge of the block. Okay. But you can add in extra details if you want to. I know on some of the others I've done a lot more. You don't have to. But remember what you do do, you'll see on the inside anyway. Yeah. So it doesn't matter. So that has now meant you've secured your blocks to your wadding. Uh -huh. What you then want to do is trim completely. Yeah. Find the midpoint and mark it. Yeah. And then you're going to stitch down that centre line. And I would suggest you do it with a slightly bigger stitch than you do normally. Okay. So I think I did 2.4 setting on the Elna for that one. So that's that central one. You're then going to bind it. And the instructions are there. You can choose to machine bind. I did machine bind this, which I knew when I did it, I would regret because I like to hand bind, but I was in a rush. Uh -huh. And then I kept saying to myself, it's only a quilt block keeper. It yes. doesn't matter. But it does, doesn't it? If you want ties, um, with experience, I can tell you that you'll need two on the sides and you'll need something at the top because otherwise when you pick it up, they all fall out. Okay. Well, they don't all fall out, but yeah. if you travel around and throw them around, they do. So these ties, I've given you the instructions on how to make them, but make sure you position them. Use the center of your blocks as your positioning guide and then you'll know they'll align. Instead of a tie at the top, this time I did turned one of the ties into a loop and I've sewn a button on Okay. because I found a stash of buttons that were huge. But do remember to make the bi loop big. I know it looks ridiculous and it doesn't look like it's going to work. But by the time I've got blocks in here, you need that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you need the fullness. Room. Yeah, exactly. Brilliant. Right. Let's just recap those three bundles then. So I've got the uh, pink one first. Uh, you get half a metre of the cream. You get four fat quarters. You get the instructions and you get your meat half a metre of wadding. Oh, it's called purple, is it, this one? Oh. 29.99. Nine of those left. Then we've got the blue one. There's only one left of the blue. And how many in baskets? 28 in baskets. So a lot of you are going to miss out on that one if you don't check out right now. Then we've got the orange one, peach one. Ten of those. And 18 baskets, that almost sell out straight away now. 29 99 plus you get the wadding. Uh, the June Taylor, oh, the pattern on its own. Block keeper pattern on its own. Half the stock of those have gone. 9 99 Then we had this ruler. The uh, multi-size 6-inch flying geese and 45-degree triangle. Twenty nine uh, ninety nine. Then I've got some of Susie's old patterns here that I just thought you might want to have a look at. They're patterns only. We've got floral twist cushion to start with.
Floral Twist, this is called, this one. It's uh, OES495. That uses the Jean Taylor Twist and Stitch ruler. Oh, OK. That's why they've called it the, twi they've called it the actual pattern Twist and Stitch. No, look. I did. We've well, called it floral here. Yeah. Okay. You've called it floral, floral twist, twist, and they've called it twist, twist and stitch because you need right. the twist. So you definitely need the twist Absolutely and stitch ruler. Absolutely, you do. So don't buy this unless you buy the twist and stitch ruler. Then we've got the flower trail. I'm going to tell me now. I need the Dresden plate ruler for this, aren't you? Um, you do need a Dresden. Well, if you haven't, you have to draw one. Yeah. Yeah. But that's then we've got the crossed floral cushion. Just need normal rulers for that one, I'm presuming. Yes. Yeah, buy this one. Nine ninety nine, <laughs> And then we've got this one, half square triangle twist quilt. No, but you could do with the... You could use the... Um, you could use your June Taylor and your... Creative no, June Taylor sold out. Oh, you can use your creative grids. Creative grids. Or your that. conventional ruler, because yep. you don't need to have either, but they're just... Make life a lot easier. Yeah. Susie, when are you next, then? Uh, the 15th of January. No? Yes. Ten, Ten days. days' time? Yes. You better get sewing, then. And I especially had. if you're using that ruler, you have to do a different well, design. I'm going to have to make a phone call, I think. Yeah. All right. I'll, uh, no, Hayley's not here. Hayley's got today booked off. Yeah. She's not in today. It's the day's holiday. Third and the fifth day's holiday. She's got even got her out-of-office thing on. Um, Very I'll see you on the 15th, lovely to see you. Yes, and you. And I'll see you in four minutes when I've got overlocker, sewing machine and uh, mannequins. Did you know that we can deliver to over 20 different countries worldwide, spanning four continents from the UK to Australia? Check out our website for the list of countries and delivery costs. Sewing Street stitching the world together. Did you know at Sewing Street that on various products we offer split pay? That means on certain items you can spread the cost over two, three, four or sometimes even five interest-free monthly payments. Just pay the first instalment when you purchase and you're away. So shop your way with split pay. Every day, our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects, and we feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to sewing or a seasoned pro, you're sure to learn something new. We're live every day from 8am till 1pm, and you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Did you know at Sewing Street that on various products we offer split pay? That means on certain items you can spread the cost over two, three, four or sometimes even five interest-free monthly payments. Just pay the first instalment when you purchase and you're away. So shop your way with split pay. Shopping with Sewing Street couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.sewingstreet.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your sewing room essentials to fabrics, sewing machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Sewing Street app. Simply head over to your app store and search Sewing Street. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Did you know that we can deliver to over 20 different countries worldwide, spanning four continents from the UK to Australia? Check out our website for the list of countries and delivery costs. Sewing Street stitching the world together. Here at Sewing Street, we only charge one P&P throughout the day. 
You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard P&P is £3.95. Charges may differ for outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option for £5.95 on certain items. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Are you having trouble finding the ideal gift for that someone special? Then why not treat them to a Sewing Street gift card? Simply head over to the website and scroll down to the bottom of the page and click where it says gift cards. You can decide between posting the card or delivery by email, then decide the value that you would like to send. Whether it's for a birthday, a special occasion, or just a way to say thank you, the Sewing Street gift card is the perfect answer. Shopping with Sewing Street couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.sewingstreet.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your sewing room essentials to fabrics, sewing machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Sewing Street app. Simply head over to your app store and search Sewing Street. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Did you know at Sewing Street that on various products we offer split pay? That means on certain items you can spread the cost over two, three, four or sometimes even five interest-free monthly payments. Just pay the first instalment when you purchase and you're away. So shop your way with Split Pay. Did you know that we can deliver to over 20 different countries worldwide, spanning four continents from the UK to Australia? Check out our website for the list of countries and delivery costs. Sewing Street, stitching the world together. Shopping with Sewing Street couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.sewingstreet.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your sewing room essentials to fabrics, sewing machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Sewing Street app. Simply head over to your app store and search Sewing Street. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Now, I know this hour says overlockers on the menu, but we've got mannequins as well. But I just need to tell you about this because Stuart and Haley launched it early in the week. I think it was Tuesday or Wednesday. And literally, they had the second it was, right? They had, um, in fact, what I'll do is I'll show you how to watch it in a minute. But um, what they had, they had loads of them. They sold out. They got more. They sold out. They got more on extended delivery. So, and then I sold all of those out. And then yesterday, we got 12 more in. We were able to get 12 more. Now, we found all the things that I couldn't find to show you yesterday. What it is, let's have some graphics in. Uh, now, it's £1,249. You are getting a free gift, first of all. You are getting a free gift of this box of threads, which is worth £159. Oh, yeah, and I've got the box threads open as well, please. That's right. Uh, there you go. Oh, oh let's say one thread, one drawer. Is there any other drawer as well? How funny. There you go. There's the two drawers there. So you get all of that thread, which is, which is worth £159. £159 is your gift to start with, right? Now, I've got no talk back, so I'll just carry on about the machine. It is... It is... 
<laughs> Bruce, cut to me. It is a sewing machine and an embroidery machine combination. And it is fantastic. Thank you very much indeed. It is absolutely fantastic. For the price, what you're getting here is amazing. Now, what I'm going to... No, no. What I want to say, what I want to say to you is you need to go and watch. I don't mind if you go and do it now. I really don't mind if you go and do it now because what could happen yesterday, all 12 of them went into baskets, right? Obviously, only a few of you checked out because I've still got a few left today. I've got single figures left today. But what I want you to do is go to the website, right? You go to TV Guide on the website up there at the top, right? Now you go back to the second, Right? Then you go right down the page to where they say Husqvarna machines. Now, Haley did have um, a, an overlocker and look, look, there, let's do it with the overlocker and the sewing machine there. He did have those. But, well, I've got it here. I've got it here. Look. Look, look at the size of this hoop. Now, I just need to show you. This is what Haley had here. The small square is what your normal four inch hoop is. That's how big you can do an embroidery normally. On this one, you've got six by nine and a half. So the light green is the hoop that you've got here. And the dark green is your four inch normal hoop. So what you can do is you, you can still do a four inch design if you want to, but you can move it round. But I'll tell you all the details in a minute. Let me just show, excuse me, show you some other samples of the embroidery. I mean, look at this. Look at that. And that could all be done in one go. That could all be do done in one setting, right? Then you can make lace. You can do lace if you want to. Gorgeous little bits of lace there. You can do... Oh, that must be normal sewing there. Then you've got another one there. Oh, there's more lace. More lace there. I uh, know. Now, now, let me just tell you, because I didn't do the official launch... Where have I just put my notes? Oh, there they are. Right. Right, so I've got my notes here only because I didn't do the original launch, right? Oh, one thing I do know, it's got a five-year warranty. It's got five Now, the other thing I've got to explain to you is here, it's extended delivery. Now, that only means, Hayley said, you will get it in the next two weeks. That was two weeks from Tuesday. So you will get it in the next two weeks. That is for, for certain. You'll get it in the next two weeks, Okay. So, um, now I've got my notes. So if you look at the, the machine or the pack shot or whatever, then I can just read my notes here. So you've got your large embroidery area, which I've just shown you. I mean, let me just show it to you again in front of the machine. Look at this. Look at the size of that embroidery. It's huge. So you've got a large embroidery area, nine and a half by six inches. You've got the, a fast embroidery speed. You've got introduction PC software, which means you can adjust, personalise and combine your embroidery designs. You can create monograms on all, your, uh, all on your PC computer. Rotate, mirror, scale and resize any design with the option to keep stitch density constant. You can use the intelligent con colour sport feature to reduce the number of thread changes when you embroider. You can, uh, you've got extensive, extensive lettering choices, 10 specially digitised fonts. Uh, the Quick Font Wizard allows you to create embroidery fonts automatically from uh, fonts on your computer. You've got 72 designs that you can adapt for any project. You can resize them easily and you can maintain perfect stitch density. You also get, um, there's a thing that you get, a 70 beautiful designs that are included with it and one built-in embroidery front in three different sizes with both upper and lowercase la letters to label. Now, there is, there is a thing that you can use with it. Here you go. Scaling, decrease or increase the design up to 20% from the original size. Uh, you've got the USB embroidery stick, which you can uh, save thousands of designs on it. You've got uh, myembroideries.com has got thousands of designs available anytime with just a click on your computer that you can download from the internet anytime. You've got design basting, which means you can stitch around the perimeter of your design to accurately position the design or applique. Um, you can embroidery edit, which means you've got the ability to mirror, move, rotate, copy your design onto the screen or in the embroidery intro PC software. That's what I was talking about. You've got the a corner check, which means you can trace the outline of the design in the embroidery hoop to accurately position the design. You can rotate the design by 90 degrees. You can step through stitches backwards and forwards. You can step through colour blocks and you can move the design within the embroidery field to the desired position. 
You can buy other hoops for it, but why would you need to when you've got that lovely big one? That's the embroidery. Now, the sewing side, 120 beautiful 7 millimeter wide stitches. You've got a 200 millimeter sewing space. You've got one-step buttonholes, two sewing fonts, block and Cyrillic. You've got stitch programming. One permanent memory saves up to 60 stitches or letters in a personal stitch program for quick and easy access. You've got your needle up, needle down position. You've got your start, stop, start, stop function. You can drop the feed dogs. You can do free motion. It's got a top thread sensor. A pop-up message appears when the top thread breaks. You've got 29 needle positions. 29 needle positions and a lot of optional extras and everything. So it's a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant machine. You get the whole lot with five-year warranty and it's on five-way split pay. So take advantage. But what I would do, please, please, I'm only reading out what I've been told and showing you here things, right? Please, please, please make sure you go to TV Guide on the website, go back to the second, click on the show that, that, uh, that, that Hayley was on, Brilliant demonstration by Haley there. Um, please, please, please go and have a look there. Now, I need to tell you, how many have I got left, you say? Nine. Got nine left, right? After those nine have gone, it'll be at least a month before we can get any more. We had... Uh, we, oh, Paul Martin. Oh, I thought it was a, a baldy Paul. Yeah, I was going to say Paul Ranyard, yeah. Why would it pull Paul Martin? Um, he's too busy getting his hair done. Um... But anyway, 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 we, it'll be at least a month before we see this machine again because we've completely obliterated their stock. We've taken so many because so many sold over the last few days. So, as I say, Stuart and Haley sold out of the first batch, got another batch in, sold out, got the extended delivery in, had some left. I came in the next day. I sold all the rest, or we sold all the rest the next day. And then we were able to get 12 yesterday. I've now got nine left. But how many people have got it in baskets? Six people have got it in their baskets at the moment. So that's, I mean, I'll come back to it during the hour because I've got to get off this table because Hobby Maker needs to start setting up. But I will come back to it before the end of the hour just to double check that you've, um, you've checked out or you haven't missed out on it or anything. All right. Now, if you go to stay on the still or stay on the thing because I'm going to go over to the other table. And then, there you go. Check out, check out, check out. Make sure you don't miss out on that because you'll regret it. I'm sure you'll regret it if you miss out. Um... Right, so, overlockers, 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 overlockers. Now, I'm going to go straight with this one because I love this overlocker. Uh, the air thread overlocker. So, the thing about overlockers, you'll be so bored of me saying this, but I tell you every time. The thing about overlockers is the threading, right? So, when I first had an overlocker, it used to terrify me. And the boys from Franklin's used to have to come up all the time to eat just to thread up my machine. I was in Colchester at the time. So, when I saw the 664 and the 664 Pro, I thought, oh! That's it now. Threading is so easy. I'll never look back now. These are just fantastic. Then they brought the air threader in. And now the air threader, just, it's just incredible because you literally, uh, you don't thread it anymore. The, the machine threads itself for you. What you do is you turn the little, so the lower looper and the upper looper in here, they thread themselves. What you do, excuse me, I've got overexcited now, I'm giving myself hiccups. You turn this, to, th to that switch goes there to thread. You then turn the dial at the back here and you see how all the internal move. This is all now locked. Nothing moves. It's all locked into position. So all of the tubes and everything where, where the threads have to go are all lined up. They're all totally lined up, right? Then what you do is you get your first thread. You just take it through the tension, Put it at, Now, I would always put it about an inch and a half into the hole because when I first did it, I was only dipping the thread in. It kept popping out again. You turn the little lever to the one, the lower looper that you're going to do. The, uh, you then lift this, you push it down, and air, which is sucked in from the outside, goes... Zoo, 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 and your thread comes out the other side. Now, you will need your tweezers just to pull your thread to the back of the machine because it comes out, right? Then you go to the upper looper, so you just turn the, late, the, the little lever, you put your thread in here, you do exactly the same thing, lift the lever, push it down, boom, it's gone through, right? You're then done. What you can then do is then release the, 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 the um, clutch by just turning that to sew, so you, that then moves. To thread the needles, literally, you just go through here, down here, across here, over there, and thread the needle at the side there. There is a needle threader 
for both left and right-handed needles. So you do the same there for the right-handed needle. It is fantastic. Now, what I'm going to tell you is, first of all, uh, you're going to get a free gift with this. I love this overlocker. It's just fantastic. I'll show you stitching in a second. So you get everything that you see here, you get. You get the telescopic, you get the little gubbins box. You get a really, really, really thorough manual with it. As you can see, it all opens out so you can get to every little bit of the, of the motor that you might need to get to. You can get to it in there. You've also got in here, you've got dials in here for if you need to move the blade and move the stitch width and everything like that. You've also got dials at the end here for your differential feed and your stitch size and everything. It will do, I'll show you a slide in a minute, show you all the things that it, it does sort of thing. But not only, oh, and also the other thing is once you've opened it like that, if I try and push the pedal, doesn't work, won't work, won't work. It's like, I always switched off, I have to say, I always do switch off because I'm over cautious. But, but, but it doesn't matter. And you, the, the, the blade is so well ensconced in there, you should be fine. Uh, you do get a spare blade, which I'll tell you about in a minute. So put it together, put it together, put it together, put it together. You get a free gift. Now this is phenomenal. Oh, right, we don't have these on their own anymore. We've sold out of those on their own. So all I've got left is what I've got left in the bundles for this. Uh, right. But how many have I got then? I've got 12, I'll tell you, I've got 12 machines left that have this bundle with it. 12 machines have this bundle, right? So first of all, you've got a five-way split pay. And you get this free box of threads, which are worth 79 99 Let me just show you them in the upstairs camera, because you won't, really, you won't really need any more than this. Oh, they sent me another new one up. There we go. There you go. So you get four black, four dark grey, four silver grey, Four cream and eight white. And I doubt, unless you're doing a feature um, stitching, I doubt you'll need any other colour than that. I would either leave this colour on the whole time or this colour on. Shush, Jimmy. It's very important you be quiet in this presentation. Uh, so all of that, all of that, all of that. So you get the three threads for 70... That, that's, that, they're free, they're worth 79 99 And the machine is £1,199. But is it? Now, we're going to do something naughty now. We're going to take it to the price that we used to sell it at last year. £1,059. That's still on five-way split pay. So that, what, 210? Is it something like that? 211? Let's have a look. And now, this is really important. Now, £211.80. We do not charge you any money for split pay. There are some people that charge you not just for doing split pay, but the higher the cost of the thing, the higher... Yes, yes, yes. So it gets more, doesn't it? Oh, they've got no idea. They're looking at me like I'm crazy. So, yeah, so if you go for one split pay, two split pay, three... Oh, well, not one split pay, two split pay, three split pay, it costs you more in other places. We don't do that. We do not do that. It's... Right, here we go. I'm interested by the J35, but I'd like to see a Denver doing ordinary sewing first. Previous programmes only showed embroidery. Are you sure? Right, OK, if that is the case, don't worry. But if you, do, if you don't need to do that, Ben's saying, go and Google. Here you go. These are not from us. These are not from us, right? But look. Because it, it's, not, it's, not it's not a brand new machine. It's been around four years. There's, you can Google it and you'll see all... I presume they're all on YouTube, are they, mainly? They're all on YouTube. Who did that message come from? Sue in North Yorkshire, go and have a look. I'm surprised they only did embroidery. Did Hayley not do any straight stitching on it in two hours? Anyway, go there, go there and have a look. It's so worth it. It's so worth it. I mean, Hayley puts her, you know, kind of Hayley is a, the, the ambassador for them. She loves them and everything. And in fact, if you go to the Facebook fan page, do, do this, do this, do this. Who was it again, sorry? Sue, go to the Facebook fan page. There's a whole strand... On it, or you can just say, "Who's got the Husqvarna jade? How? Do, what's the stretch? What's the straight stitching like, or whatever?" People on the fans page, people are so honest. They are totally honest. There, they will tell you exactly what. So, if they love it, they'll tell you. If they hate it, they'll tell you. But you can go and look at the videos and go and ask on the Facebook. Do it now. I don't mind. I don't mind because I think it's more important that you get that machine than watch me waffle on about some um, overlockers and things. Right, OK, I hope that helps, hope that helps. Right, thanks, Ben, for looking that one up. OK, now, uh, when you all check out, there are only six of these left. Once everyone's checked out, there's only six left now. 
Yeah. Now, uh, also, a lot of people do check out later on this one, so please be careful. You, and also, at midnight, the price goes up. So, £1,059. Split pay, 211 We do not charge for your split pay. You also get £79, £99 worth of thread. You also get a two-year warranty. And these will come straight from the Elnert's... Uh, warehouse in Stockport. They are ready to go. So if you buy it today, what day of the week is it today? Oh, it's Friday. Friday. So you might, beginning of next week, they'll ship it out to you. Beginning of next week. And they're really quick at the turnaround there is really, really quick. £1,059. Right. Somebody's asked, does the jade have a needle thread? And let me have a quick look. Yes, it does. It does. In fact, I know, I've seen Hayley demonstrate that so it is oh who is it i'm considering about the jade embroidery machine but before i do can you advise if you've got a needle threader thank you patricia yes it has yes it has got a needle threader now back on the uh, we weren't even supposed to do that one i bought the 664 last year as my first overlock the threading it was far easier than i thought and i love it joe from a very flooded shrewsbury oh no oh dear it's dreadful isn't it I flooding it's frightening isn't it Anyway, anyway, let's just recap. One thousand and fifty-nine pounds. We've taken off what? Uh, one hundred and forty. One hundred and forty pounds. We've taken off. Yeah, one hundred and forty pounds. We've taken off the price. Five split pays, no interest charge whatsoever. Plus, you get your threads for seventy-nine ninety-nine. Now, we have only got that. Once you all checked out, we have got six of these left, right? Uh, we'll get more of these. That's not a problem. We'll just get more of these, but it won't have this deal with it. And 80, these threads will last you and last you and last you. So overlocking threads are slightly, you can use any thread on your overlock. If you want to use your lovely um, variegated orophil, you can do. If you want to use your gutterman, you can do. But um, these are, don't use these to do your dressmaking, you know, single in your sewing machine or anything. These are specially made to create less um, fluff and uh, they're also stronger when they're interwoven together. So they, they, they're made specially for overlockers. Um, oh, now, we've got some slides about this, this machine. Here we go. So you get the, uh, it's an air threading system. You can do two, three, four thread overlocking. We'll show you that in a minute. Built-in needle threader in an overlocker with two needles. I know. Adjustable differential feed, five-level presser foot pressure dial, eight-piece feed dog system, built-in two-thread converter, built-in thread cutter, and a maximum speed. Look how fast it goes. 1,300 at stitches per minute. Jimmy's impressed. Jimmy's very impressed with that. Right, what's next then? Where have you been anyway? So you get the, oh yeah, you get the accessory box. I'll show you that in a minute. Screwdrivers, large and small, tweezers, needle set, net, spool caps, lint brush, oil tube, spare blade. Now the reason that's so good is if you do happen to run over a pin and you wreck your blade, the amount of times you then have to reorder a blade, which could take days. Take days, couldn't it? You've already got your spare blade. I doubt, I doubt you'll need it. Just don't have pins, just don't have any pins in your, in your, um, this is the little box you get with all your goodies in. Don't have any pins in your fabric, but sometimes one gets in there, one gets forgotten, and you go over the blade, and you know you go over it. Um, you could ruin the, um, the blade with that, so please be careful. Uh, back to the slide, sorry. Uh, needle holder, looper thread wire, waist tray, foot controller, dust cover. Now, what you can do with your four thread, you can do overlock, you can do stretch knit, you can do decorative overedging and gathering. With your three thread, you can do overlock regular and wide. I just leave mine on four all the time. But you can do rolled hem, narrow hem, pico hem, flat lock and pin tuck. And then with your two thread programme, you do flat lock and rolled hem. Now, when you take your needle out, because when you're not using the four threads, uh, take your spare needle out, right? But don't leave it in because it's still going to go up and down and go through your fabric and the machine's not going to like it very much. So just take that one out. And remember, one needle is always set higher than the other. So when you go to put them back in, don't be thinking, oh, that doesn't fit properly. And they are, uh, uh, these are, um, if you buy the Elna machine, get the Elna needles to go in it. That's all I'm saying. OK, now, please be careful. Please be careful because, right, so what's happened now? So how many have we got left? And how many are in baskets? Right, there's one. Oh, right. If you all check out, there's one left. If you all check out, there's only one left. This is what happens. 
This is what happens. Ask Julie Vaughan. If you, if you don't know if you want to get this or not, ask Julie Vaughan on the fans page. She'll tell you how brilliant this is. I've got this one and it's absolutely fantastic. Rebecca Harrison wants this one, but she should have come in and got it now, shouldn't she? So you're getting your threads for free and we've taken off... And well, we'll get into... Actually, do you know what? Could you do us a favour? If you will check out, then nobody will know that we took off £140 because that was only supposed to be a deal like over Christmas. Yeah? Well, no, I did say to Ben, fix it, Ben. And that's his job as producer, isn't it? £1,059, five-way split pay, air threader. Now... When you've all checked out, there's one left. One left when you've all checked out. Uh, obviously, uh, the, oh, the other thing, the other thing I want to say, and I'm not, I'm not, uh, I'm not. If you're a juki girl or juki boy or an elder, you're going to go for the machine that you. I've got an elder because my sewing machine is elder. The juki ones, juki air threaders, and I'm not. This is not me dissing juki whatsoever, but I'm just saying, one thousand four hundred and ninety-five pounds, one thousand six hundred and ninety-five pounds. I think. No, I think that's it. I think they're the two prices they have now. So I'm just saying, when we've taken it to 1059 and you've got split pay, no interest charge whatsoever. Because I always say this, don't I? Say you bought... Right, I can, oh, I can tell you, actually, because this has just happened to me. So, right, so say you bought that machine, put it on your credit card, £1,059. That's not my story, but I've just run through to the garage because, you know, yesterday I said to you, I've got to take my car to the garage for a service, right? They've just sent me a text which says... Um, they can do today's work, £24.50, fine, but work in the future, £1,349, right? Now, imagine if I just put £1,059 on my credit card and then next week I've got to put £1,300 for my car, they don't offer me split pay. So if I just paid off a little bit each month, by the end of the five months, you're not going to finish paying that off in a credit card, are you? You're literally going to still be paying interest. So use the split pay. Know that you've only got £211 something going out of your account every month. Then it doesn't matter if the gap... Well, it does matter because it depresses me. But um, the, so take, if you've got to pay £1,300 to your uh, garage, then the money's there, isn't it? You haven't put it on... Oh, yeah. An average credit card weight at the moment is 22.1%. We... Nothing. Yeah, no, it could go, it could up. Oh, well, it's not going to go down very much, is it? It's not going to go to nothing. It's not going to go ever going to go to nothing, is it? We do not charge anything for your split pay. No interest charge whatsoever. We take, we take the, well, we must pay then the 22% because we've had to buy them from Elna, haven't we? So, you know, we must take the hit for you, as it were. And, and now we've heard, and we've heard now that other people are charging for their split pay. We wouldn't, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. Anyway, I've got to move on because I've waffled on too much. I, I'll come back to it. I'll come back to it in a minute because I've got to talk about these overlockers now. So the 664 and the 664 Pro. This is the 664. This is our most affordable overlocker. Now, again, it's so easy. to You haven't got the air threading um, facility, obviously, but it's really, really, really easy to follow. And it, you've got the guide on here, but also in your brochure, there are close-up drawings of all the tricky bits because you have got to thread your lower looper, which is underneath there, right? It can be tricky, and if you find, if you're like me, you'll go, oh, I can do this, I can do this, and then you'll get to it, and you'll get all sweaty, and you go, oh, I can't do it, I can't do it, I can't do this, I can't do this. Walk away, have a cup of tea, have a cup of coffee, got watch Will and Grace on the telly or something like that. Then come back to it. It's easy, it's easy, right? £339, and it's on split pay. Uh, hang on. Uh, that's, that's supposed to be on three-way split pay. So on five ways, so you could get this home today, £67 something, that'll be, wouldn't it? Is it I'm going to wait, 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 wait. Not percent interest charge, look. 67.80, you get this home for today. Right, I've got a message about the air thread. Now, I've got the 864 air thread. It's fabulous from Leslie in Tynan Weir. Thank you, Leslie. It is, though, isn't it? It is. Right, so... So this is five way split pay. That should have been changed. In fact, I did email Haley before Christmas and saying, you've got to sort out your split pays, Haley, because that things like this aren't meant to be on five way split pay. But anyway, take advantage. Take advantage if you want that one. If you want to upgrade a little bit more, then we've got the 664 Pro, which is this one here, right? So oh, I did, I'll, I'll show you the, the slides for these two now because they're, they're comparison. They're comparison slides. This one's £559. Now, on this one, you see here, you've got, I think it's 12 different stitches in here. And this one, five-way split pair as well. So, look, £110, £111, that one will be. Oh. 
OK, now I didn't know this was happening. £479. £479. So it's less than £100 a month now. Oh, OK. Yep. OK. Ben wants everybody to get a deal. Everybody to get a deal here. So how much are we taking off there then? 79, 80, 60. £80. Is that 80 pounds? 80 pounds come off there. So, so what this one is, is you do have 12 different stitches. What you can do is you go to the front end. Now, this is all in the brochure as well, and it's in the brochure on the 664. But if you want a quick, easy guide, so you look at the stitches on here, say, oh, I want number nine. So you then literally turn this to number nine, and it tells you where you need your needles, which needles you need, what tension you need, and everything like that. At £479. Split pay. £95 and something, that is. £95.80 on five-way split pay. Uh, again, it's very, very easy to thread up. Look, you can open it right up like this. So, we've got the technical features here. We'll get through the stitches in a second. Uh, you've got a built-in, so you've got your built-in uh, program reference panel. That's what I just told you about. Automatic tension release, built-in two-thread converter. Oh, I've, I haven't shown you the tilting needle clamp. I'll do that now. Instant rolled hem device, self-threading lower looper, front cover safety system, pre-tension slider, three, four, two-thread, uh, color-coded threaded roots, cutting blade, adjustable foot pressure, Telescopic thread antennae system, electronic foot, waist tray included, exclusive Elner accessory box, plus your dust cover. Look at this, right? If you're threading this, right? I've got, it's really difficult to do, to do. Right, you see under here... Now, I don't know if you're going to need to come close to the devotion. You see there's a little red button just inside there, right? See that little red button there? If you press it... Right, hang on, I'm going to do this from around the back. Press it... Push your needles forward. Look. So it makes it really, really, really easy to thread. And then you just press it back down and put the needles back. Must remember to put the needles back. Otherwise, it won't work. How brilliant is that? So not only do you get all of that. Do I've got the list of stitches for this one as well. Just have a look for that one for you. Five-way split pay. 95 pounds and 60 pence, I think it was, or 80 pence. On your five, well, it's under 100 pounds, isn't it? 95, 80, it's under 100 pounds, isn't it? Oh, here you go. So we'll, we can show you these slides here of all the stitches it does here, look. So not only do you have it on the front, you also have it on the, in the brochure, but it tells you what to use it for. So if you don't know, if you've got some fabric and you're thinking, oh, I need to add some ribbing to a knit neckline, I'm not quite sure which one I need, it'll tell you in there. So it tells you that you need stitch number two, and then it tells you which needles you need in, which tensions you need in, uh, where your differential feed needs to be, what your stitch length needs to be. You can't go wrong. You cannot go wrong. And at £479, brilliant price, brilliant price. Brilliant. So we've got the most affordable, which is 339. This one, which should be 559, which has gone down to 479. And then the air threader, we took £140 off the air threader, but we, you also get this. You also get a £79.99 gift. Right, now, I'm just, I'm just going to check now because I'm a bit worried now. Right. Right, we've got more people in baskets now than we've got stock of. So I can't really say anything. I said, if you want it, I need you to check out. I really need to check out. I mean, obviously, you've got to think about it, but there's more of you got it in baskets than we've got stock of yes we will get more back we will get more back in stock we will get more of these back in stock uh, but it won't be with the, with the free gift and also 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 when the new stock arrives ben won't be allowed to do that to it because you can't see now but it should be 1159 is that right 1199 should be 1199 and that well he definitely won't be able to do that on the next batch that come in no, there you go. Well, hey, you'll be watching from home. Not on a day off. It's not a busy day after. Right, so please, please, please be careful. We've got way more in baskets than I've got stock of. Now, what you're saying about the stock of the 664, we've got enough, have we? And the 664 Pro. Oh, we're fine. We're fine with um, stock of those. We're absolutely fine with stock of those. Right. Oh, now, now I'm, not, I'm not supposed to go back to this, but the Husqvarna sewing machine slash embroidery. 
I'll show you. From, I'll do it from a still. I'll do it from a still. I go up, and how many baskets? Okay. When everyone checks out, there's five left. When you've all checked out, there's oh, and now, 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 we cannot get any more of those for at least a month. Did you say a month or two? I'm going to say a month just to be on the safe side. At least a month, right? It's, that's the earliest we'll be able to get them in. And also, th don't worry about this extended delivery. It was two weeks from Tuesday. So two weeks from Tuesday. We're already, we're already nearly at the first week, aren't we? So it'll be, out, it'll be coming out to you in about, what, eight days' time, nine days' time? So have a think about that one. Do check out. You're saving £159 because you're getting a free gift of the lovely threads in the wooden chest. I just want to show you this because for, on normally on these, on these embroidery machines, you get a four inch hoop, don't you? Look at the size of this hoop. Six and a half by nine, I think that's one, isn't it? Uh, now look at the split pay as well. 249 pounds 80. We do not charge anything for offering you split pay. Even though Jimmy wants us to. He does, but we don't. Right. Quick message about 664 Pro. Is the 664 Pro good for someone just starting out with dressmaking? Nicola, yes. Either, either of them are, the 664 or the 664 Pro, but you save it. The thing is, the 664 Pro is the upgraded 664. So, there you go. Now, it should be 559. Five, 559 five, is what it should be. Right? That, and at midnight, oh, by the way, at midnight goes back up. Also, when Hayley gets back into the swing of things in the new year and doesn't take days off and everything, that will go back to three-way three, three -way split pay as well. Yes, they are. Who said that? Jenny, yes, they are. Bring them back. We do an advert. Stuart's done an advert saying we shipped to Australia. So we must strip, strip, strip. No, not strip. We must ship to, sorry, Jimmy. Uh, we must ship to Ireland if we ship to Australia, mustn't we? That's wrong, that's wrong. Ring them back, ring them back, because we'll definitely ship. Oh, is it an Elna she was asking for? So it could be an Elna, because I don't know if Elna deliver to, uh, to Ireland. So you need to double check. If it's a drop ship, you need to go by their ship. No, no, I, right, okay, okay, I know this is a fib, right? I know, because Jane, Jane from Elna was on air with me, Jane from Elna was on air with me the other day and somebody messaged in about the same thing. She said, yes, we do do to Ireland, but it costs about £15 to ship it to Ireland. OK, a Northern Ireland only. But it's not because it's... Well, OK, so that is... But then Jane said on air, on whatever day Jane was on with me, she said, we do... Elna do do it to Ireland, but it costs about £15. So what... Yes. That's exactly what you should do. So ring the call centre, right? Place your order, then ring Elna with your order number and say, I've bought this, I want it shipping out, because you'll have to pay the postage to them, not to us. Then if there's an issue, you can just come back to our call centre and say, I'm sorry, it's not been shipped, I want my money back, and we'll give it to you back. Do you know what I mean? Just in case, just as to... Which one was it she wanted then, do we know? Oh, OK. Um, but it should, should, Jane definitely said on air that they deliver to Ireland. Definitely, definitely, definitely. The other day, it was the day when I was on with, um, when she was doing the 780 with Susie and somebody rang in and asked, didn't they? Right, okay, so, we've got to do mannequins next, got to do mannequins next, right. So I have to do this one first, apparently, according to Hayley. This is our bestseller mannequin, right? Have we got the little film ready because I can't show the legs on this one? Okay, so this one here is your leg form, which means, right, if you look at the picture now, when we put the, the size guide up, right? Uh, so what you put size A in first of all. So that's the X. Is A extra small or small? How many have you got? What letters do you got to? Oh no. Hang on, we're just checking. Oh, so A is small because extra small is a separate one. So this is small, right? Which is a 33 to 41 inch bust, 26 to 33 waist, 36 to 44 hip. Just for UK, just for guidance, UK size is 8 to 16. Look at the picture there. You see how the, the stand is to the side? It's because you can move the stand from the centre 
to the side. And the reason they do that is you can make trousers on this because they've cut out, I'll show you in a minute when I show you the mannequin, they've cut the little bit out so you can put trousers on them. So this is why it's our most popular one because you can do dresses, you can do coats, you can do skirts, you can, and you can do trousers on here. Right, OK, so let's put the graphics back in. So this is for A, which is the small. They're all the same price. They're all the same price. Then, uh, uh, no, I do all, do all the sizes now. Oh, no, uh, no, show the video. Show the video, sorry. Show the video. Here's the video. Here you go. Right, here we go. So uh, it's a classic twist. You can't read them, sorry. There you go. Available in four sizes. 12 thumb wheels uh, adjusters for easy adjustment. So it's brilliant. If you've got a bigger bust, you can make the bust bigger. If you've got a bigger back, you can make the back bigger. Uh, you can also, uh, eight part body and hem marker offers wide flexibility in your creations. There's the column, look. Two columns, one for putting it in dresses and everything like that, or one to put it on trousers. You can adjust the nape to back waist as well. So you get your perfect size. You can make the neck bigger and smaller look. Uh, and it's all covered in a vibrant sapphire blue nylon fabric. And it's got the three, it's got the tripod on the bottom, that one. So let me just show you here on the real thing. This is where it's cut out. So you can put, you see the crotch is cut out here. So you can put trousers on it. And this, you can move this post across to the side and everything. So that's the small size we've got in at the moment. Let's put the other graphics in now. Medium next. B, B is medium. So B is uh, 39 to 47 bust, 32 to 40 waist, 41 to 49 hip. Sizes 14 to 20, UK dress sizes for guidance only. Then we'll put, and it's a three-way split pay. Now, these come directly from adjuster form. So they ask for a 10 working day delivery. It's normally a lot quicker than that, but they ask that just for their own uh, peace of mind. Then we've got the large. So we call that C then, the large one, yeah? Uh, 45 to 53 bust, 38 to 46 waist, 47 to 54 hip, 18 to 24 dress size there. Always buy one smaller than you because you can use the cogs to make it bigger or you can pad it out. You can't make them smaller, obviously. And then we also have the extra small one. You see, now at other places I've seen them sell the extra small and small from cheaper price than the medium and large, which I think is very unfair. We charge the same price for every single uh, size. And it's the lower price, yeah. 28 34, a 28 34 bust, 23 to 31 waist, 30 to 38 hip sizes, 4 to 12 UK dress size. Um, split pay, split pay, no interest charge whatsoever. And, 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 and. So the postage, the postal packaging, if you've not bought anything else, is still 3 95 If you've already bought something, right, if you've already bought something else, um, it's already included in that, even though it's coming... From, so, say you bought this, uh, and you bought an Elna, and you bought the early bird, you'd only pay one PMP of £3.95, but this would be coming from our just form, the machine would be coming from Elna, and the early bird would be coming from us. Isn't that brilliant? Absolutely brilliant. Three-way split paint, no, no interest charge, whatsoever. So that there is your leg form. Now, on one of our celebration days, I can't remember what it was, we got, was it Black Friday? We got this one in. Now, this is a factory reconditioned. That doesn't mean to say it's all broken, it's been bashed about. It could mean that it's been out on display. It could mean that it's been to Festival of Quilts. It could mean that a, a customer returned it or something like that, right? So it's a factory reconditioned. It only comes in one size, which is the medium. I'll get your sizes up in a second. Now, we've got a third of the stock left. We've got only a thir two thirds of the stock is all sold because right now, look, it's already on split pay, right? It's already on split pay, three-way split pay. But watch this. 74.99. Now, go to John Lewis's. Have we still got the slide for John Lewis's? Go to John Lewis's, because they had this one. I don't know, we were told on the very first, when we first did it, yeah? 74.99, split pay 24.99. I'll get Bruce to get you the measurements up in a second. I don't know if it's Bruce or, or Ben, sorry. No, no, it's on the website, it's on our website. Yeah. Oh, she, uh, Hannah said it was on the website, the sizes, because it's only the medium that we've got. Only the medium. There it is. Now, you're only looking for the medium, right, which is 40 to 46 chest, 32 to 38 waist, and 41 to 47 hip. 
So that we've only got in the medium for $74.99. If ever you want... And look, you've still got the cogs around the sides here. You've still got the cogs around the side here. You've still got the cogs in the back. You've got the big dials at the front. But it's a trouser. It's a leg form. You can move the post for trousers for $74.99. Three split play of £24.99. They might have sold out. They might have sold it all out. Is it, a, is it the prim one? Yeah, prima donna. Uh, no, but look how much it was before they put it in the sale. £219 it was. This, isn't, this is not John Lewis's. This is not John Lewis's. Um, uh, they've reduced it to 139 Well, that's even... You know, we're at 74 And it's... OK, the other thing is, is theirs isn't factory reconditioned. Oh, yeah, there... Let's have a look at their medium there. Right, it, theirs is not a factory reconditioned, obviously. Theirs is brand new. But even so... The thing is, when it says factory conditioned, it's not going to be dented or anything like that. Huh? Yeah, we've all bought things that are factory reconditioned. It's, and, and it's not one that you're not, they're not going to send you a broken one. And also, the other thing is, look at the picture, right? Look at the, look at the bottom of the feet. You get the four feet, so it's more stable. And you get the hem marker as well. Loads got into baskets. Loads in baskets. So make sure you check out. Make sure you check out. Oh, I'm getting overwhelmed with all of this. Right, I've just got to recap, recap the early bird, right? But we had some issues at, at 8 o'clock this morning with the, with the computer and everything like that. What happened was loads and loads and loads went into baskets. Then only a couple of people were able to check out. We don't know why. We don't know why. Now, this is normally £24.99, which is a, excuse me, a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant price because we sell another wool mat at this, at this size for £52, right? So it's Millwood, £24.99. Watch this. Hasn't been this price, well, since 8 o'clock this morning, but before that, September was the last time we took it that price. We think it was an Ian Manager special or something like that. 1999. Yep, yeah, it, it was on his manager special day. He got confused with the prices because we're also selling the small square one for 1999, aren't we? So make sure you go through, make sure you go through and get this. And now it was today's early bird. Should have been twenty four ninety nine. It is now nineteen pounds and ninety nine pence. I'll just stay with you for a couple of seconds while you check out on that. Yeah, where's my? Just take a slurp of my tea while I'm there. Right. Have you checked out? Come on, come on, come on. I've got a hope. Oh, no, I've got to go and collect my car. Well, no, now I've paid my 12, 24 pounds, whatever it was that I had to pay. At 19.99? Right, OK. So, where, where are we going first? Husqvarna first, right? Husqvarna, which is a sewing machine and an embroidery machine. Look at the size of this hoop. Look, look at... What I can't believe is you could do this in one go. Isn't that fantastic? Right, where's that bit of card? On your normal embroidery machine. Well, I'll say it. On the brother, you have a four, which I think is a brilliant size anyway. You've got a four-inch square, right? That's the brother. That's what this machine has. Nine and a half by six inches, that one. And all the things you can do, I just think they're fan fantastic. What you need to do, though, is now I'm finishing, go to the website... Go and look at TV Guide. Go back to the second. Go down to 11 o'clock, I think it was. Two hours. Hayley did it for two hours. Now, apparently, she doesn't show you do it sewing. She only does embroidery. So then Google the machine. Because it's not a brand new machine. Google the machine. And you can see on YouTube lots and lots of different people doing straight... Not ours, but other people doing... People within the industry doing straight stitches on everything like that. Right. And how many baskets? OK. There'll be two left when everyone's checked out. And, 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 Paul upstairs, Baldy Paul upstairs said, it'll be at least a month before we get these back. Don't be frightened. Don't be, don't be frightened by um, the extended delivery. Do not be frightened by that. Because it, it's two week, it was two weeks from Tuesday, right? Or when, Tuesday or Wednesday, right? We're already at Friday. Do you know what I mean? So that's half a week gone already. 
So don't be worried about that. It's worth waiting for. It's worth waiting for. <sighs> make sure you check out. Make sure you check out. Um, oh, no, hang on. I'm talking about the free gift yet. Free gift as well. Free gift as well. And now these are gorgeous. Uh, whether you keep it for yourself or give it to someone else. The, look at this. The wooden case with the two drawers in it with all the beautiful embroidery threads in it. It looks like rosewood. It's not rosewood. Beautiful. Oh, does it say rosewood on it? It's not rosewood. Beautiful, isn't it? £1,249. I was going to say, if it was rosewood, the box would be more than £150 on its own. Right, so that's that, right? Because I've got to go, I've got to go, I've got to go. Let's just do 664. 664 overlocker. Now, I've got lots of these, I've got lots of these, but look, it's £339, but it's on five-way split pay. Easy to thread, very, very easy to thread. Oh, hang on, let me pull that one. Very, very easy to thread. Five-way split pay, £67 something a month. Oh, you don't have to take the split if you don't want at £339. Then we had the 664 Pro, which is the one upgraded from the 664. And then the price, that should be £559. Not today, now, but remember at midnight it goes back up to 559. There are loads and loads and loads in baskets. I don't have to, I'm not, I'm not going to say to you, oh, if you, if you don't buy it now, you're going to sell out. But remember at midnight, it goes back up and there's no guaranteeing that any of the other producers will have the, what's the word I'm looking for? Kahunas, the kahunas to do that because that's naughty, right? And then last but not least, my favourite, favourite, favourite overlocker, my air threader. Right, and how many baskets? Right, when you've all checked out, there's one left. There's one left because remember you get your free gift worth $79.99. Oh, right. Right. Okay, right now, there are, there are no, the amount that I've got left, there are in baskets. So if you'll check out, there's none left. It's up to you, it's up to you, it's up to you. Now, oh, well, no, one person's going to miss out now. Right, one person's going to miss out now. Um, the price will go back up at midnight. The five-way split pay. When these have all gone, you won't be getting this free gift with it because they've all sold out now. We haven't got any more of those. We will get more of this machine. They're ready to go in Stockport, at the warehouse in Stockport. Right, let me do tomorrow's menu very quickly then. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, who's in tomorrow? Oh, it's me. It's me. I was thinking, oh, I'm going home now. Eight o'clock, New Year, new hobby, hand stitching. Uh, nine o'clock, Orithil Thread Masterclass with Sandy Millie Chip Chocolate Chip Cookie. Ten o'clock, Books and Tools. Uh, Eleven o'clock, The Sewing Notions Compendium. Ooh, I wonder what that is. Fancy. Oh, and I've got sewing machines again at 12 o'clock tomorrow. Ray, Now, what's uh, old Dave Bradford? Not old. What's Dave Bradford got coming up? You're not old, Dave. I've got Sizzix. Oh, you've got Sizzix. Oh, no, but I can see Crafter's Companion. Well. Yeah. Gorgeous. Uh, and Sizzix again. Have you got the balloons out? Yeah. Those balloons should have air in the top one to make the, the confetti move around, shouldn't they? Oh, so the Sizzix balloons are beautiful, right? But the top balloon's like this, and it's got confetti in it, but nobody can see it because it just sits at the bottom. Anyway, thanks for your company. Make sure you check out everything you've got in your baskets. I'll see you tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock.